very, very strong. I mean, <laughs> the look right now on Jamie's face is how I feel about <laughs> fighting this character, right? <laughs> Jury is solid. Let's see what goes on. We got Jury versus Jamie. Definitely gonna be, uh, so he's gonna try to control with their crouching mediums already. Command throw, nice stuff. Mm. All right, full string. Mm -hmm. I love that. We're just crack right into the first set of the night. The fat there opening. it is. Okay, yes. Nicely done. Joe looking pretty solid with the jury so far. Banana not fights back at the correct time though and buys all that real estate. Look at that. We get the back away from the corner. Nice anti air. Had that on the mark. Good block though in the overhead and a nice reaction from Banana Knot. Oh, yeah, up until that turn. point. Mm -hmm. That's just something that is so strong about the jury kicks, man. They hit you at all kinds of different angles, some different ranges of pressure at. Oh, we're not able to punish on the break dance. Doesn't matter. Oh, just a walk back, crouch medium kick. Ain't nothing like it. You know we love it. We're going into round two. Nice. Mm. Punishing the empty jump situation. Well done. Dash up, get a throw. Now we've already got Jamie back to the corner. But then not fighting back. Finds the crouching medium kick, Ooh. but not able to convert, man. Oh, nice. I like that sneaking and the drive impact. This should be it. Level three immediately. Oh, no, I'm going to play with the food a little bit. Not a problem. Ooh. Ooh. Easy bread and butter for Joe there. I mean, yeah, the jury looks solid. I'm, I'm definitely feeling it. It's a 1900 MR jury. So that, I mean, that's yeah. solid. There's but, some time in there. Yeah. 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 But not, not really tested yet. You know, Banana Knot hasn't had a chance to really press on this jury yet. So we'll see. If Banana Knot can get things going, of course, we are first to three the whole way through the tournament tonight. Oh, yeah. There it is. Crouch medium kick again. Instant dry rush. Gonna dash in for the throw. Push into the corner. Look how far that goes. Oh. Yeah, we had, the, we had the punish, but no follow up mm. again. So Banana Knot gets away with one. Gets the, the drink that is, but Joe immediately pressures. Mm -mm -mm. Puts himself in a burnout. Doesn't matter if we hold all the offense here. One throw could do it, and it does. Nicely done. Up one round, Joe over Banana Knot. Yeah, just super strong fundamentals right there from Ume Rogan. Yeah, fundamental. Great way to describe it. Mm -hmm. I mean, this is a great game plan for her. It's just pokes and cash out. That, it's that simple. If you try to out poke her and deal with those tools with an equivalent, there is no equivalent, my friend. Not in Jamie's case, there is, right? The character no. does need just a little bit of help, but we're two more drinks away from becoming the monster that we know we are. Yeah. See so if we can get it. Oh, he tried to challenge the drive rush, but just unable to. Oh, come on. We got to fight back. Find some defense here. Nicely done. Mm -hmm. Banana Knot trying to buy some space. Takes a poke there. But we're still in a dangerous situation. Oh, that dive kick sucks, man. Yeah, not good. Missing the end of the combo, but a little bit of health left. Going to be very hard for Banana Knot to make this comeback. But it's not out of the realm here. Yes. Oh, we it, oh, this is really good, actually. She's in burnout as well. Yes. Like okay. It. Spend it. Yeah. Okay. Maybe there was something more complicated we could have done with you know using all of our meter, our drive meter to get a combo there, to get a kill and save some resources because we still have some work to do. We're not out of the woods yet. But I, I like the decision. Just stay clutch, stay solid, spend the level three. Let's get into this final round and try to save game two. I mean, the decision of staying in the game, right, KP? Like, I agree no, with that. Is. Spinning your whole meter just to make sure you secure another round. But these throw loops are talk. Oh, my God. They are finding their way in. Oh, and the, the no. flip on the roundhouse. That was crazy. It looks like we're going to level three here. Oh, my God. Okay. Well, there ended up being no meter calculation for Van outside whatsoever mm. anyways. As Joe just completely runs around away with the round. Answers back with a perfect of their own, and now it's a 2-0 lead of a banana knot. Something has to change here. It's got to start in the neutral. Where are we going to find success? Because just challenging her at her distance is not enough. But of course, banana knot has also tried to go for the dive kick, and it just kind of sucks. Yeah, the one time he went for it, right? Joe already had it scouted out with the drive impact. And just like that again, that crouching medium kick, just such a nuisance. Such a big button. Baiting the throw, but fortunately enough, was not able to get a punish that time. Here we go, though. All right, we got a drink. So one is in the chamber. Let's get another one stacked on here. Ooh. Nice challenge. I like what mm -hmm. we're doing with the button presses here, knowing that Joe is close to burnout. Yeah, so I but like even the offense alive. Yeah, I was thinking the same thing, but putting himself close to there. Nice extension. Try to bait something on wake up there. Nobody home. Joe's looking for that crouching medium kick. Ooh, I like that Joe there. Well done. Oh, get caught mm. reaching. Jury player is going to the classic and stacking a lot of damage in the back throw. 
So we get the side switch. Joe's still at a dangerous spot for burnout, though, so we have to be careful. Chooses to put themselves into burnout. Gets away with murder. Rome, are we going to take this? Oh, looks like it. Yeah, there it is. Nickel and Diamond, I'm out. Knew that Banana Nault was going to be looking for a throw real soon. And uh, Joe Rogan just one more game. Joe Ume Rogan. In my head, I keep seeing Joe Rogan. It's like default. <laughs> but Ume Rogan, one more round. Hey, mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, he knows what he's doing. Man. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I just I do feel like a lot of these rounds have been competitive for Banana Knot, so it's not just a lol Jamie sucks like meme on this character kind sure. of situation. We have had the opportunity to make it happen, just not able to execute all the way. And now it's looking pretty rough here in round two of game three. Could be the final game between these two. Okay, I tried to live punish there. Ooh, okay. Too slow for that as well. Got to be oh very close to burnout. This is where it gets scary. Though KP, we got the corner. Okay. It's the windmill kick. Oh, and the button. It's Combo. A <laughs> <laughs> there it is. Three in a row. Joe Mirogan with an emphatic 3-0. Starting off this tournament tonight. Good stuff. <laughs> That's why I didn't play him, but I'm ready to see this. Oh, we got the cost oh, of three dude, on for so both. Good. It's so it's, nice. Oh. Yes. You know, we didn't give any love to the jury costume last time, but Ooh. also a fantastic addition to the game. But yeah, I like what you said about being creative with this character. Yes, you have to be very dynamic and mix things up. And if you over rely on something too much, that's when the opponent can start to dial in on you. Great opening to fatality though. For sure. You can evolve, evolve all the way into the corner. Nice blocks, yeah, of course. The DJ play and gets shimmy though, never mind. I was just gonna say it. DJ knows how to block one, but can't always block a shimmy. Gets on that time with a throw, and that's going to be it. Fatality. Looking good already. Yeah, Fatality looking really, really strong. What is it? Evil X? Evil X? E evil? Uh, Evolix? Evolix? I'm Evolix? going with Evil X because it sounds wrong. <laughs> evil. Yeah. I like to see them get back into this match here with an aggressive start, so nicely done there. Oh, mm -hmm. good perfect. Perfect carries from Fatality, man. They're doing a good job. There's the, the dash from the sway. Gets the throw. Did bait the EX so bad, but still got punished by it. That's funny. Yeah, I'm doing wild things. Ooh. This is, this is madness. I did the hell far. Ooh, that's it. Dramatically yeah. dropping for evil, though. Yikes. Yeah, Fatality's rocking the blue. That's how I kept it in mind. So blue player one. And we got the orange gold. More like a gold, right? Gold on player two side. Oh man, nice fake out there. Another complicated part of the, the DJ toolkit. Mm. Fake fireball. I don't know what they were thinking. Oh that. my god, the counter hit off the sway. Dropping the up kicks there. He was cooking too much, man. Gold's got to figure out a way to get out of this corner. This is good though. We got a back throw. Time to start your pressure. Rush for the overhead. Nice counter. Yes. Into the drive rush. Confirmed, but he drops the sway. On his way there, so very, very unfortunate. And Fatality fights back at exactly the right time. Gonna confirm this all the way through. Not spinning though. Okay, this is a dangerous moment here. Ooh, okay. It's the raw drive. Drive impact there. We got two bars, didn't finish. Oh, he's gonna. No, because he didn't combo into the drive impact again. Oh, no and way. KP, that's gonna cost him the round. No. Oh no, because we were heating up at exactly the right time. I like what Evil was going for there. We had an opportunity in neutral there, but Fatality just pokes back and immediately gets a punish counter, so... Oh, we put ourselves in the corner, though. Wait a minute. Yeah, he dashed right out. That was so close really? to the corner. I'm surprised he didn't get it. Nice surprise as well, man. I feel like Fatality just seems a little bit more comfortable so far in the, ne in the neutral and up close as well, so they're, they're getting more with their turns. Oh. A nice shimmy there as well. Beautiful conversion, man. Yep, looks like we're going to level three. Yep, this is going to be it. Fatality again, another game. But like you said, yeah, he's looking so comfortable in this mirror matchup. And that's always the testament of a mirror match. It's like anything you can do, I can do better, right? So you have to sure. always be ready to fight your character. You need to learn how to play against your character. Because uh, in a lot of cases, most people don't. They don't laugh against their own characters. So you got to have that on deck. Mm -hmm. I hate mirror match. <laughs> what are you telling, bro? Here we go. Whiffing the buttons in the neutral. Not looking so good. Fatality immediately closes the distance. Okay, we do get a throw there, so we interrupt the situation. Evil stuffed out of their opportunity, though. Fatality just, immediately takes control. He just woke up with the jabs. He's like, just get off me, bro. Yeah. No parts. No parts. I don't care, man. Mm. Driver's crotch medium kick. Yeah. 
Get the knockdown. Okay. Comboed. Okay, Ooh, wait a minute. Yeah, we're in this? Still... Oh, we are in this. We're knocked out. Got a little bit too greedy, but there is EX up kicks. Oh, he's so plus on the heavy punch fireballs. Yeah, big opportunity here, though, for Evil. Let's close this out, man. Zone this. No, we're going to go in. Mm hmm. Almost got punished. Ooh. That was such a smart option right there from Fatality. Going for the back heavy kick at that range. Oh, dude. Oh, you got baited. And a throw, throw right techno. Yes, sir, but another flash kick. Fatality's Bruh. taking advantage of Evil's impatience there. Bruh's clutch. That was that was super clutch. Nicely done. I mean, sheesh. Mm. I feel like you know, Evo's had their moments, and definitely that was a big one in that last round. But Fatality able to turn it on when absolutely necessary. And look at Solid again, though, in this round, Evil. Maybe able to put that away. Can we can we get past a tilting moment? Nice throw. Yeah, gonna have to. Just like that, though. Mashing out, beating the drive rush. Good stuff. Again, a nice tech on the throw. Evil is starting to pick up on the tendencies, though, from Fatality. Mm -hmm. So we are seeing the adaptations happen, but can they happen fast enough? Uh, no, get shimmied instead, KP. Yeah, brutal, brutal timing. That's happened twice, now three times. Fatality is able to cash in on the shimmy opportunity all the way through. Yes, sir, that's going to be a three yes. Fatality taking over the EOX. That is what we call conditioning, folks. You got your opponent to be conditioned to every drive rush throw attempt. And then once you got them to do that, you take a step back and blow it up with a button. These but guys. Me, they're yeah. already having a good time. They're having a good time. I love it when you see their early interactions on the little screen. But I got just on paper, I feel like honestly, Honda probably does pretty good against Jamie. I mean, I don't know why not. The, the stop sign is probably relevant. I could, I could see at least that. Okay, nicely done for Jewelman. Trying to keep things close and aggressive early on. I think that's the right thing to do. And we get the butt slam start. Nice challenge. Yeah, though. yep. That was really good awareness there from uh, Big Bud Jackson. He's got the corner too. This is going to be nice for him here. Nice. Just but out. Mm -hmm. Ooh. EX Hunter Ooh. here. Yeah, we get the full link. Spicy with it. That was disgusting. No, he didn't. Close to doing squat. Okay. Oh. All right. <laughs> <It's funny. laughs> I 100% got hit by that. Nicely done for Jewel Man getting the first round. And PR <laughs> Jackson tries to get the end here. We've all been there trying to hit a DP on the bus land. Yeah, we got the uh, perfect parry, but still not going to be able to throw. I was going to say, yeah, the aerodynamics on that butt slam, bro. He was catching wind for so high. Mm -hmm. mm. All right, two drinks in, though. Nice punish as well. Jewel Man trying to get cheeky with that stomp cancel setup again. Attack. Ooh, oh, there, we there go. it is. Yep, there's a delay. Oh my what? god, what's that headbutt? EX headbutt canceling out all three hits to drive impact, but we still get to confirm into the level three does Mr. Uh, uh, excuse me, PR Big Butt Jackson. That was such a weird situation that I feel like could have gone so much worse for Big Butt. But he gets away with one. The level three does not kill. The follow-up juggle also does not kill. Very but finally, good. we get the right button press at the right time. Mm -hmm. Out of resources, though. Honda sitting on three. We are back to the corner just like that. See if Big Butt can take advantage. Oh, my God. Just headbutts out. It doesn't even matter if you try to shimmy him. I don't play Jamie, but I just know Jamie players. It must feel so good when you get that dry rush into the hands. You know what I'm saying? I oh, yeah. know that starter feels good. Kung Lao ass starter. Gets the full combo. <laughs> Nicely done. Able to get the punish counter throw on the OD wake up situation. We are cooking. There it is. Yeah, you feel yourself, Jamie. I saw that. He's about to pop off. Mm hmm. Yeah. 1 0 lead right now for Jamie over Honda. Oh, good starter for Jewel Man, though. Doesn't seem phased. Not a punish, but a good option there from Big Bud Jackson. And the perfect parry. Nicely there done. There is. Yup. And a full heavy punch conversion. We're going to spend a big chunk of that. Tries Ooh. to bait out something, but yeah, it was perfect parry. Gets the regular throw. Oh, man. This is a great okay. round for Jewel Man. It's smoking the health bar of Big Bud Jackson. In the corner. Gets the headbutt. Seals the deal. A round lead for Jewel Man in game two. Hard to make that comeback against Honda when your health is so low, right? Like, right. He has actually 
one of the rare bonuses in health in this game, him and Lisa and Big Force. Mm-hmm. So being at 10,500, he's got that just a little bit of extra more. Nicely done from Big Butt finding the opportunity to get a combo. Push Jewel Man into the corner. This is where we have to find a chance to abuse Honda's defense because it sucks. It is getting exposed right now. Do we get a tech? Mm. But we got a perfect parry. Nicely done. We got a drink okay. though, and I respect that. A little yeah. bit of, you know, it's a lot of scaling on perfect parry. So I don't blame him for trying to go for something uh, expensive. But we're gonna go for something expensive as well. Jewel Man got to cancel in to the critical art. Not gonna be enough, but this is massive. Look where I'm coming, boy. Ooh. <laughs> this is a good critical art, man. Oh, he just got to the full up headbutt. Makes him go for the parry and gets the throw. I mean, we saw Big Bud Jackson hit the perfect parry on the headbutt before, so that was a that was a five head bait from Jewel Man. This is cooking already. <laughs> one to one. Honda definitely got the five head, bro. That's crazy. Nice parry though. Gonna escape the drive impact. And look at the burnout already on Jewel Man. This should get ugly real fast. Yeah, burnout in this early of the game. That's pretty scary. Tries to get the drive rush button. Nobody home. We do survive. Follow-up situation nice. from the, the butt slam. And we get the perfect pair on the stop sign, but no follow-up. He's going for the chip on the string right there. Oh, uh, we got meter again. And accordingly, we're gonna perfect parry that. Oh, oh, corner. No, oh, bro. Using the, the stomp cancel to delay the activation of the, of the sumo splash. Nasty Ooh, with man. it. Sorry. Sorry, Big Boy Jackson. All right. I got to get out of it. All right. We're back. Unbiased. Esports. We're live. <laughs> I for, totally forget that that happened. Okay. Nice job. Again, he's being so cheeky with that. I feel like that would be more of a gimmick, but it, it feels like it's actually kind of mixing up his timing a little bit with that stomp. Dang, he's taking well advantage. And oh, blocking the second hit of that splash, he was unable to get a punish. Nice, meets him in the air with the jump heavy kick. Throws back into the corner. This is what we need from Big Butt Jackson. Just headbutts out, man. <laughs> I like it. Dude. Praise the sun while I take a sip. That's funny. That's true, about six, baby. Nice confirm here. We're not gonna go for another drink at this point. We have the control, so I like going forward. Nicely done with the dash into the perfect parry. We get the juggle. Moving on to all the way to the corner. Burnout situation coming up on deck for Joel Man, but he back dashes at the perfect time. That was so sick. Back dashing through the throw. That the was so clutch. Right. It's Honda kind of nasty. No. Oh no! Damn, dude. Yeah, he is getting mixed up by Jewel Man's attempts. Like, he keeps going for the wrong option. And, and again, that's just, like, so good at what Jewel Man is, is doing in terms of, like, just mixing up the headbutts, mixing up the splashes, the drive rushes into the throws. So hard to react to that. I think he's showing... I think Jewel Man is showing a lot of respect to PR Big Bud Jackson because he's shown that he can perfect parry on those headbutts and on those butt slams. So the fact that he's not just relying on those tools that do make Honda, you know, kind of cheap and mixing it up so well is a huge sign. So, I mean, Big Butt Jackson is in a terrible yeah. spot because they are down and now they're about to potentially lose this round on this confirm. Drop left. Oh, he was walking in Bruh. the jump back light punch instant overhead. And we are on a round point match point, if you will, for Jewel Man. Big Buck gonna have to drink a little bit more, brother. There it is. We got four, yeah. we got a four in us. Party it time. Oh, no, we did not get four drinks. We walk forward into a bread and butter <laughs> reset Ocho throw with the OD sauce on it. It does more damage, my man. Oh, oh. Nice, sneaks in the command throw. We get the full link off of this. We have to win this, right? I mean, we are oh, the Jamie to. player. We got four drinks. This is what it's all about, right? The juggle comes through. We do not spend the bar. 3D decision, but it mm. pays off. Good stuff. Yep. Double hit on that overhead there. Not enough health, so the uh, drive parry did not save him. Oh my god, but those cancels into the command throws. He's so good at that. Is it done? Oh, okay. I was about to say, how are we going <laughs> to deal with the rest of this? This is going to be some Daigo stuff. I it thought. It was not. We was gonna TNS moment number 37. Oh, things. bro, what is? <laughs> Dude, this jump back jab, Jewel Man, you're getting away with murder. Yeah. Murder, she wrote, and that's gonna be it. Jewel Man with the quick adaptation and the reverse 3 0. Good stuff. 
Yeah, well done. I mean, he he brought some wrinkles to the Honda game plan. You know, no pushing. <laughs> <laughs> down there so good luck everybody Ooh. else we're moving up into our next matchup this is going to be a clash of the titans oh yeah zack in the box zack in the box right mm -hmm. zack in the box cooked me a few tns's ago in the luke mirror it's all right do though that. you do he do be doing that you know what i'm saying rocking the costume three we got the nashal drip on the uh, jp i see you Look how fire these are, man. I'm really impressed with what they've been able to do. And the, the you know, bring back the, the loop classic design. I think it's a good mm -hmm. choice right now. We're getting that loop engage. Jack in the box gonna have to hold oh, this soft wind gosh. condition, bro. Another? Oh. Nice parry. Oh, wow. there it is. We're, we're playing like a jerk, bro. I love it. <laughs> Throw him. Oh, oh my no. god. <laughs> All right, we're still alive. Okay. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah. Anything would have done it, and that was more than enough. Well done, Black Knight, getting the first round here. Kind of disrespecting Zack in the Box a little bit, I'll say. Yeah, definitely enough to, to tilt somebody, but we see Zack in the Box still in there, hitting the perfects. Gonna get the full, oh, missed the tackle, unfortunately, but still pushing JP ever so closely to that corner. This is where Zack in the Box can get started with this Luke. Yes, sir. Luke nice. The corner is scary, bro. You know that. For sure. Of course, and there's the win button, baby. You'll love it. One more should do the trick. Ooh. Very good. Not enough health yet. And that was good awareness from Zack in the Box. He knew that Black Knight could not attempt to do his own drive impact there. Didn't have the health to uh, trade with him. So good stuff. It's honestly wild to think, like, one of the most telling things about a player in Street Fighter 6 is from Zack in the Box, by the way, to get things started. So telling when they break out DI, you know, mm -hmm. it's so radically different between players. Nice reversal super here. Yes. Black Knight buys himself some room. Oh, even better poke from Zack in the box. That's a very, Cajun. very good level one. Yeah. Oh, yes, sir. Stand the heavy punch. This should be it. Into the oh, level yeah. three. That's going to be it, man. Zack in the box. Quick turnaround there. First round was looking a little shaky, right? The way he was, uh, was getting locked down in the corner, but. Made those changes and uh, looking good going into this game too. Yeah, you're right. It was total lockdown from Black Knight, but as we saw displayed in that round from Zach, the caging from from Zach and the Box from Luke is just so strong. Oh yeah. Nice. Yeah, very good. Yes. Hey, okay. Resets. Okay, I like it. That's good. yeah. That was very good. Pushing him full screen too. This is where JP starts to excel. Well, until we get hit by that crouching medium punch, baby. <laughs> That's the famous quote, right? Everybody's got a plan until crouching medium punch. <laughs> Nicely done. He follows it all the way through and moves JP to the corner. JP jumps out, though. Bad situation for Luke incoming. Oh, yeah, this is very good. We're going to get the level one off this. Very nice. That's good. Mm hmm. Nice, uh, nice full conversion all the way through. I like the completeness from Black Knight early. Good Man, not to, uh, not to, not to dunk on Street Fighter V, but Luke's, cost, but but Luke's, uh, it looks better in this game. The default from Five, it looks better oh, yeah. in this game. Oh yeah, no, like I the does. hair doesn't look as isn't look as offensive. As it well, it was really cartoony. <laughs> you know, just in general, the design was a little bit more goofy. So, no, I agree. It, it, the aesthetic in six is super good. Things are looking pretty okay for Zach also in this match. Ooh. Nice drive rush confirm. That definitely helps even out these life bars, and we get the bait on the wake of amnesia as well. Oh yeah, not gonna spend it. Choosing to save it for one more. Oh, the oh, amnesia no. saves him before the oh, drive no. impact. Very, very good. He and with full screen, yeah, this is going to be very, very hard for Zack in the Box to make this. No. There it is, though. I don't know if he's going to reach. No. Oh, he reached. Never mind. I'm a liar. Bad commentator. We're going to Memphis, folks. Brother, you cannot give up an opportunity like that when that's the only option that Luke's going to have in that situation. Oh, man. Things just went so south for Black Knight so quick. It looked like they were about to give things up. Yeah, it was looking like it. Now we're even on the floor right now, whiffing the throw. That was such a big whiff punish there for Black Knight. He needed that. Pushing the full screen. Let's start the zone. Sending out the goons, sending out the homies, the spires. Right. Ooh. Nice punish counter. Not able to complete. Yeah, too far for the target combo to connect. Not going to matter because that will. <laughs> the amnesia, you love it. Get the conversion. 
Oh, yeah. this is rough here for Luke. The drive meter is going up. No anti-air attempt oh, from Black way. Knight. Yeah, that was a really brilliant burnout sequence from Black Knight. And then just such a disrespectful jump out. Attack in the box. He gets juggled. Not dead yet, though. So close. This confirm could do it. Nice. Very good. That was a little scary right there from Black Knight. Just squeezing that victory out. Mm. But fortunately enough for him, he's going to take it. Going to move him into game three. Keeping it competitive. Yeah, I mean... Oh, oh, cheeky option from Black Knight. He doesn't get punished for it, but the follow-up jump in is good from Zack of the Box. He cashes in a big bread and butter combo. He moves Black Knight all the way into the corner and starts that Caden process once again. Trying to check JP. Yeah, too far for the overhead. Interesting there from Zack of the Box trying to go for it. We do get the pu punish counter throw. He's trying to stay at the range to hit the cross medium kicks, but Black Knight is sneaking in cross medium kicks of his own. That's going to be it. Explosive situation from Zach in a box. And now we get a round lead for Zach. Well done. Really? That was interesting, right? Delayed dash punch? Huh. Yeah, a little side winder or some weird situation. I'm not sure, but the juggle in the corner is going to be pretty good. Zach in a box, one conversion away from here. I'm taking the third game, and he's going to do it just like that, Rome. That was kind of free. Yeah, the over-reliance on OD and Misha definitely cost Black Knight that one. Oh, he really is. I mean, I, I can't blame JP players, right? <laughs> when you have an EX move that just gets you out of jail for free, I don't blame you. I would do it too all the time. And probably lose, just like he did now. But here we go. We're going into game four. <laughs> Black Knight still has a chance to bring this one back. But Sack of the Box just hammering fist, going straight for it. That's definitely his spot, bro. That, that range, just the cookie jar, and he's reaching every single time. Trying to grab what's in there. Oh, yeah. Like using the OD to build some space there. Well done. We get the punish counter throw, so we're eating up his life bar a little bit. We just eat a jump in combo. Ouch. Yeah. Jump heavy punch. Another one of Luke's more pronounced buttons. Gifted. Super big hitbox on there. Yeah, so much priority on it. We are going to eat a punish counter throw. Extremely gifted button. Ooh, lead and another jump in. Yeah, Black Knight has not been checking any of the jump ins, actually. He's been opting to block them, which I do understand. But I mean, come on, JP's got really one of the better anti air normals in the game. Oh, yeah. It's, it's tremendous. There, there it is. Go. Getting the ghost cancel as well. Okay, trying to show up these holes a little bit for Black Knight. We're going to the OD amnesia. This time Ooh, it works nice. out. We get the shimmy button. That was queued up. Immediately into the level three. Buys him some time. Gonna put Luke and Burnout as well, if he somehow lived, but I think he's dead. No, nope, just a pixel left. That's fine. So, That's and I'm, mm -hmm. I'm sure Zach in the box is ready to get that round over with too. He's like, screw it, I'll just wait to the next one, you know, when I have right. all of my resources. Yeah, he has everything available to him at this point. Nice walk up throw from Black Knight. He's fearless decision. Gets the OD departure on the screen. David mm -hmm. Lewis coming with the 1840 on the match arena. Jeez. My man. My man. Frugal with the green tonight. We see you, David Lewis. Hope you're enjoying everything. Yeah, man. Enjoy the rest of Street Fighter tonight. We're excited to have you with us. All right. This is getting tense. Closing situations as the Blackout is in burnout. Dude, seriously. Hey, he's got those on point. Yeah, there it is. Anti throw tech. Oh, we're going to beat the throw. Number one. Yes, sir. Mm. Yeah, it's gonna make the burnout situation Level three, even. Oh, how is Black Knight gonna respond to this? Pretty much anything at this yeah. point would take it. He checks him with the button, and Zach in the box takes three one win over Black Knight. I think that Black Knight actually played pretty well, dude. Going up against our fella, Luke right. Mirror match. I'm in heaven, baby. <laughs> We are back in top tier land. It's gonna be Luke versus mm. Luke. Our fella, I believe, in the black? Yes. Yep. Spot in the purple. That fit is fire, bro. What is that? The, the, the purple and the blue? You're looking like an eSports chair right now, Sheesh. man. <laughs> oh, man, is Gamer Feud out of his mind? There's the crouching medium punch. Yeah, nice check. Leads to a combo, and we get the punish counter on the other end. Well done. Ooh, oh, as well. it, yeah, okay. Oh, yeah. It feels so satisfying hitting them perfect. Yes, Sandblast away. Score of a million does have the meter management and uh, meter management, excuse me, and drive meter. Up until that point, though, 
Yeah, chose to spin for an opportunity. Didn't find anything there, but I feel like I'm fine with what they for on the other side. Cash in some damage. Pushes Scott all the way to the corner. The air to air is good, and the jab mm. follow up is even better. That juggle should do it, and it does. Yep. DP at the end. Gold Hearted, you are wild for that one, but I respect it. Just like I respect this combo. Never mind. We're going to drop it and get punished accordingly. Nicely done. Closing on those three bars, though, for our fella. Scrub's got to be very careful. As soon as I say that, just dropping another one there. Yeah, the corner has not been trying to squat so far, and our fellow is going to try to run that situation back. We choose to put ourselves into burnout. The throw loop situation is active. We go for the crouching medium punch. That's going to cash into a second round win and game one victory for our fellow. Great spacing right there. Just took a slight step forward out of throw range there, connecting with the crouching medium and uh, blowing up scrub familiar for it. So we're going into game two. Back at it again with the loop mirror. Yeah, the mirrors so far. We've had two tonight. We've had DJ and Luke. Pretty trying matchups, as we discussed before with DJ. And they kind of test your skill set in a very, very unique way. Oh, yeah. After Scott getting the combo started here and putting our fella to the corner this time. This is what we want, man. We want to hold some control here. Oh, press a step in there with the, the light punch. Media tech. Hey. Oh, that was so cute. That was like barely on the ground right there. Nice whiff punish. This should be it. Uh huh. Meets him in the air. DP. Oh no, we're gonna go for level one. That's fine. Wanted to make sure, and I don't blame mm -hmm. him for that. That'll definitely be more and more common in Street Fighter 6 as we progress through the meta as people, you know, optimize the level one combos. Nice, perfect, very. It's gonna reverse everything for squad here. Even up the life bars and a lot of drive pressure coming in on our fella. Very close to getting pushed to burn out. Just to right. burn themselves out for the confirm. Yep, try to go for the side switch. He's got to be careful. He's getting closer and closer to that corner. Fights his way out with a uh, jump over, but does eat a DP from Scrod. He's going to back mm. up. Yeah, slowly build that drive meter back. Oh. No squat is hungry to cash in on that burnout. Wall oh, squat yeah. doesn't get all the way there though. And I felt fight back. Perfect opportunity. Comboing all the way through. <gasps> okay, does get the throw. Does have a little bit more of a health lead, but still in burnout. No anti-air attempt from Scrot. You know, he's not gonna let another mm. jump. Never mind. Soon as I say that cave, you're like, oh he's gonna check the next jump. Missed times a sandblast, and our fella was right there with the jump heavy kick. You're right, I and mean, then our fella is right there again in mm. round three of game two. Checks immediately at the start. Catch a squad trying to just get things started with the drive rush. I think they're getting a little too impatient and in a bad situation with the back against the wall. Our fella has been money with the corner control so far in this match. Oh, and another throw. Oh, squad trying to fish for something there. Nice. No dash, though. Got to drive rush through after you connect those. Ooh. Years have been solid for sure when we are looking for them mm. from both sides. Oh, nicely done. Our fellow with the level one, that's going to be it. Yeah, he's just been picking apart Scrawl Familiar's offense, unable to really stop him. And right. uh, again, you know, when it comes down to that mirror match, anything you can do, I can do better. So I have that on deck. Now it's your turn to show me what you can do. Yeah, I do think our fella is kind of playing a counter-punching role here. And then it's not that Scott hasn't had good situations, but it's the the opportunities that our fella finds have just led to so much more. We have another corner control situation here. The leads are engaging. OD uppercut gets us out at least. Yeah, but we spent a lot on that second follow-up, put ourselves in burnout. This is fine. He's still going to be dead. Yeah, level one again. Well done from our fella. Now on set point, just like that, the Luke mirror not being kind to Scrot so far. And our fella just traverses in and gets a button. Thankfully, it's a drop for Scrot. We're still in this. Yeah, it was pretty funny because Scrot had the crouch and medium punch ready for it too to check it. But, you know, drive rush, doobie drive rush, folks. Sometimes it's just unstoppable. Just like that right there. Nice confirm all the way through. Perfect parry. Oh, but we missed the throw because it was too early. Oh, wrong. That's a heartbreaker, man. 
This one might be over, folks. And in fact, it's going to be big drop from Scrot. It's going to give the victory over to our fella. Right. If you, yes. if you get the wind stocks engaged and you can be really disruptive of your mm. opponent's distances, your opponent's traditional really safe options, get three stocks just like that. Nicely done. Yeah, we're going to get a combo for it, but, you know, at least we got things started. We got three of them in there. I was going to say that, yeah. Once we start the OD and we get those plus situations, she becomes a bit of a problem. Right here, mixing up Coach Steve every time. So much damage. Got so much. Nice. Okay. Bro, he's dead. Empty low. That was sick. I didn't even see where she was going to go. Whoa. Yeah. Yeah. She, she is like that, that T-Hawk archetype. But with a little bit more explosivity so that's you know especially because of the drive rush you know system you don't have that giant hitbox to worry about that he you know traditionally had and also you get advanced forward with the drive rush nice job from coach diva just getting corner activity started immediately and walking down. Wow, just looks like he was trying to bait out the ex whirlwind but still got hit by it nice try to bait it out again with the back roll back ball excuse me but not gonna matter. Try to activate doll. Nobody home. Yeah, coach is trying to hit the uh, the burnout pressure there, but now nah, everything's gonna get away with one. No way. Did we know that that was just gonna work? Hello, that was such a weird situation. I overthink. Definitely, we thought a lot about that one because it landed, and we're getting a critical heart. Speaking of landing, not gonna be enough. A little bit of health left. Yep, just level two immediately. I don't. This uh, discredited, but not gonna matter. Just standing media punch there. Good stuff. I'm really shocked that that didn't kill, but well done to I overthink not letting it get away from them. Uh, Coach Steve, I thought it had a lot of momentum though showing in one of those rounds. So it's not like it was free by any means. Oh, it, just, it does make me look a little bit awkward. Blanca versus Lily, you know I mean? They kind of compete in the similar ranges, but mm -hmm. Maybe Lily's tools are just a little bit more consistent in those ranges. I'm not sure, but it seems like Blanca's having some trouble so far. It could be a little bit of match of unfamiliarity. Lily's not the most common pick, right? Sure. Um, obviously, one of the characters that people peg as being one of the weakest, if not the weakest. Uh, but we're seeing here that these mix-ups are not weak at all, and that mm -hmm. I overthink is doing a really good job at landing them. But we are going to land the EX Rainbow Ball, the up ball, excuse me. Ooh. This is a great round from Steve, though. Oh, well yeah. Done. Yeah, let's the doll do the work. So we're going to stack on a round lead here in game two. <laughs> Chad said JP should have a JP doll. Bro, he got goons around. Ah. He, don't need, he don't need a doll, man. He got. He already got homies. He's chucking How stick would that be, though? A little JP just stomp around, <laughs> make a mess of things. They give everybody a doll. Nice punish <laughs> counter from Blanca. We're going to go all the way through with this. Absolutely, we will. He says, shut up, KB Bunk. I ain't having no problem with this. None of that. Yeah, immediate clap back from Steve. Perfect Ooh. at that, too. Emphatic stuff. Steve with the uh, <laughs> the, the almost flesh-colored Blanca. It's a little scary. Yeah. But, uh, Very intense color. Man's got that Hulk Hogan tan, bro. He's, uh, <laughs> he's all leathered right now. Get over here, brother. <laughs> well, let me tell you something, brother. I'm going to hit this Blanca ball, all right? <laughs> Hold up. We got a DP. Check the Blanca ball in the neutral, but the jump back ball is good. So we're moving Lily towards the corner. I overthink finding the perfect time to fight back, though. Making some distance again. We find mm. another life lead for Lily. EX ball and go unchecked. Oh, nice. Yeah. Scouted. But we still got the doll out in time, though, KP. Not going to matter, though, because that's the end of the round. That's annoying, man. Life lead, Lily, seems a little bit annoying to deal with for Blanca. Maybe that's that's the situation you want to avoid. Steve, obviously, to try to keep things momentous. He just disrespects the Blanca ball or the Blanca chance instead of completely. Yikes! The neutral here, very annoying. All right, had the, uh, yeah, she had it scouted out, beating the uh, Blanca ball, and it worked out. Nice jump back, heavy though. I like how Steve's playing. Frames, yeah. Nerf Lily, bro. <laughs> wow. Only thing about oh. saying, only thing getting nerfed is his health is about to get depleted, sir. That's it. Yeah, unfortunate drop from Steve, but it doesn't matter. We recover. Have to spend the level two bar, but I think that's okay. 
yeah, sometimes, you know, just establish that, uh, that, that round. Keep you into the game here. She does have three bars. Setting up the homie. Time to get gooning. Yeah. Oh, good parry. Really? Yeah. Protecting both sides there. Nice stuff. Mm, I'm surprised. Because Steve is usually so good at mixing in those hops. This time, we find the situation we're looking for. Hop into the punish counter throw. Lily puts up the parry situation. Buy some time for now, but at a massive life deficit. Three meters on deck, not quite in critical art. Very really? Good. No link though, but we do get the finish. We're gonna go into level three. Yes, sir. We're coaching the burnout, but with no dry stocks of our own, I would think can't immediately cash out into yeah, a DI. Yeah, wake up level two is the right idea. Now you have to press forward before. I was gonna say before the uh, the meter recovers. Good stuff though. Nice scouting from Steve with punishing the crouching, uh, the standing medium punch. Excuse me, and blowing her up and taking that second game. That was a great confirm. Mm -hmm. That was really, really great confirm. That's something that I'm so impressed with from Steve overall. Is how they confirm hits with Blanca. Well done, getting that one two one lead now. I overthink kind of scrambling a little bit in game four. There we go. Now have a chance to slow things down and get some control. DI at the perfect time. And Steve gets the side switch. Wake up, command throw. <laughs> Not going to matter, right? Just get me out of here, says Lily. Okay. I don't know about that. That's pretty wild. Yeah. Hey, sometimes uh, you got to make some crazy bets, right? You got to make some <laughs> crazy gambles. And it pays off just like that with the empty jump low. I'm going to take the first round. The empty jump low is legitimately tricky. Mm -hmm. it, that is very well disguised in the animation of Lily. So nicely done, Coach. He gets the whip into the throw. That's one of the most annoying neutral patterns from Blanca. I would think finds a punish counter confirm of their own. We are trading blow for blow right now. Blow for blow. Okay, you know what? That's not bad. Taking the brunt of that doll. Oh, that Media parry. That was so good. And we have three stocks. Oh, this is so bad. Everything's gonna be able to loot plus frames if they want it. Coach D with the rebuttal. OD reversal. Ooh. Oh, it's getting wild. Did he try to go for a command throw there? That was not it, my friend. Oh, and that one bad decision led to defeat. Final round, Coach Steve is on match point here. I overthink, might have overthought that last situation. Definitely gotta turn it down just a little bit, but we got three bars for both. Gonna get real explosive. Crouch medium punch with punish. Coach is playing super well right now. Looking dialed in, zoned in, game plan in effect. Oh, nice punish weird. counter, but yes, sir. I think you're right. Mm -hmm. Combo into the level three. That's gonna do it. I think an impressive performance from the Lily. Don't get me wrong. Well done, I overthink. But Coach Steve in control in the end. Yep. 3-1 win and you know Steve is a player that we see a lot from week to week. Back to back Lily versus mm. nephews random it's happening Lily <laughs> If you love Lily, this is the place to be. Uh, it's the Here third we go. hero of the night. <laughs> Nephew randoms into a 1700 MR <laughs> Lily. <laughs> Oh, brother. I was going to question. I'm like, hmm, how much does Nephew know? And I see the MR. I'm like, oh, he knows enough. But I, Peru, also, you can see a very oh talented God. player and someone who is main in this. We are going to get it the perfect parry. I believe it looks like, yeah, yeah. So I, Peru, is rocking the white, and we got Nephew with the black and purple. Okay. Sounds good. Wow, Nephew with the 1700 MR Lily. I never would have guessed. <laughs> so far, getting a little bullied right now, I, Peru. Flexing the, the comfort. Okay. Okay. Yeah, that was smart. Yeah. The loved ones right through. I was going to say, I Peru was looking really comfortable, but that was a great decision from Nephew. Mm hmm. There it is. Condor DP. Uh oh. Okay. It's getting wild. Wow. Oh, Nephew just taking back the uh, life lead there. Plus two on that EX dash. Trying to bait something out. But the patience from I Peru is going to help him out as he's going to get the level one on his own terms. I don't know what it is about Street Fighter 6, but I was literally about to say, Ooh. jumping up forward out of the corner is lethal. I don't know what it is, but for <laughs> some reason, everybody gets hit by it. You just let your opponent jump out. 
you're it's, you're so hyper focused on like trying to just di them in the corner right if you have the meter or just locking them down or forcing them to go for like a throw so when someone jumps you don't have that option covered that is all of us man nice check okay i pro looking solid now maybe shaking things off good comments from punish. nephew mm. wasn't the counter though so he couldn't get the uh the follow-up look at this matchup man what are we seeing here <laughs> yes <laughs> medium punch just throw uh... the button we finally had a stock engage. Okay, a stock on the other side. I Peru immediately cashes out. He has the right decision. Mm. Ties the rounds up now. This is so just bizarre. This is dope. I love yeah. it here, man. Yeah. <laughs> just That'd back to really back, Lily. Really. Oh, we got a drop. It doesn't matter. The follow up is good. Wait a minute. Another drop. Oh, it's getting, it's getting on. A lot of wind dancing going on. One stock each. The DI comes out from Hyperu. Nobody home. Go two stocks. Now two stocks each. Hyperu chooses to spin both of them. We're going to see a DI. Nice. Anti is with the heavy punch. Tries to bait something out from Nephew. Keeping the corner. Nephew does have the drive meter again. Yes. And he's going to put it to good use. Drives out. It's a command throw. On the punch. Oof. Mm, not able to get the counter DI. That would have been a game win from Nephew. For sure. Look out the range of that yeah. stand medium. But we're going to bait it that time. Nephew with the punish into the level three. Unbelievable that we are seeing Nephew take the 1 0 lead Lily. against Iperu right now <laughs> with the Lily mirror from the random. Ridiculous, man. Nephew, I mean, he's. You know, talk about players grinding, right? He's definitely someone who is on this religiously. And as you can see, I mean, having random select and getting a character with high MR, that this goes to show you, he, he's well-versed in everybody. Oh, yeah. That bro be playing. From Street mm. Fighter 6, 100%. <laughs> I threw in a good situation here, though. Nephew down to just one stock of drive. Now it's barely putting up two, one win stock, and maybe 30% life. Punish, yeah, Iperu trying to take this back. Does get the throw, a little bit of health left. Anything will do at this point. There it is. I'm just tickled to death. Like this is even happening still. Still beside myself. If you test the waters with a couple pokes to start the second round here in game two. Two stocks loaded. Oh yeah. Folks, we're giving you guys a preview into next year. This is what the yeah. meta's gonna look like after the yeah, okay. back, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> yes, these are your profits. You got Enjoy the advanced the cup. The future. <laughs> now we're just trading wind stocks right now. Mm -hmm. Go for it. No, gonna spend all of his resources with the drive reversal. <laughs> I like this. We're basically just doing the same thing to each other. Nephew now with a firm life lead. That's gonna be. I, oh, the cross was that Lily DP. Sick. Yeah, that was an OD cross cut right there into the level two. Not gonna be enough, but she's got a drop of health. Yup, and the Condor dive. Nephew takes a point. That's so funny, man. That level two did not do nearly as much damage as I thought. I feel like some level twos in this game are like. Here, here's the world, and some level twos are like, ah, oh, yeah, fifteen percent damage. There's definitely some that could use some better tweaking, but Don't not that that's gonna you. matter right now. Yup, because the cross cut DP yet again, nephew, looking strong. He's up two games. Right, he is. He's tweaking. He's tweaking two zero off the random pick, Lily mirror match. I mean, I guess if you're I Peru, like. How often do you play the Lily mirror, right? Yeah. I mean, we've, we've had two mirror matches already tonight, but we've had to discuss this, but I mean, geez, mm. really, how often are you playing the Lily mirror? That's not a common occurrence here. Viper was going to have to dig deep as we got the fake Rihanna singing in the background. I like this song, though, so ah, I can't. Yeah, oh, it's fire. Yeah, it's so good. But she does sound like Rihanna. It like, is trying to 100%. Be Rihanna. Hey, Capcom man. was like, Rihanna, we can't afford you. We'll just find this other lady. We'll have her do it. Yeah, they here we go. <laughs> Iper was taking the first round. Oh, very good. Look at the range. No, big miss though. Now with a neutral jump. Nephew finds the button, press at the right time, and then the command throw. So now we're stacking on a life lead. We choose to spin the stock into the second command throw. Mm. No, things are looking scary, Rome. 
Okay, it's gonna get real dicey. Gonna go for the drive reversal, not a bad option. Does it to you, but puts him in burnout, nephew. Not scared, because we're gonna whiff with the level one. Had that scouted, he was sitting on that. New Iperu was gonna try to go for something at that range. I'm, I'm just impressed. I'm really impressed with the, the level of play that that nephew has been able to bring to this match. Now poised to take a 3-0 win over Iperu, opening up the game around three, excuse me, with a huge, monstrous lead here. Mm -hmm. It's over. Life. Oh my God, and just like that in the blink of an eye, nephew takes a 3-0 over, over Iperu with random select. AD gonna be representing mm. the jury, of course. And it's gonna be our third Jamie of the evening. Mm -hmm. And a mirror of our very Jamie. first match too of the tournament. Is that? Oh, yeah. true. Yep, Jamie and uh, Jury. So let's see. We are drinking already. Getting the magical herbs in. I like it. Just like I like that confirm into the pinwheel. Mm -hmm. mm, 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 mm. Nice. Check in with the heavy kick. Let's go for another one. We are just big with each other. Oh. Good jumping from Jamie. Oh my god. That jumping head, bro. This shit is so funny. <laughs> Massive oh, jumping yeah. big confirm and all this corner control stacking on damage. Under K A D finds a perfect chance to fight back. Build all that space. Tries to go for one for this round. So far he goes. Level four Jamie just wow. zooms across the screen on that drive rush. Good stuff to Crimson Jaeger taking the first round. Oh, cheeky option from Crimson Jaeger. Drive rush overhead gets the one drink on board. I feel like he tried to bait something with that instant dive kick. He still got hit. Doesn't matter. The perfect parry is going to give us another chance to get a drink down the gullet, man. Two drinks. He's starting to get scary. Mm. Oh, yeah. That's when you know he want to fight. But we are going to go into the level three directly. Not a bad idea. Awesome level three. By the way. So cool. It is so sick. I remember when I first saw this. Mm -hmm. And he gets a follow up too. Yep. Oh, this is looking oh. like a round for Jaeger. I think this might be it, KP. And it is. Oh. Oh. Oh, oh no. Oh. 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 Like Commentator's curse. Hold up. Critical art cashes in as well. So things are starting to get pretty dangerous from Crimson Jaeger. We do have the wiggle level one. Uh, yep, yep, yep. Critical art's going to finish. Oh, that was smart. Yeah, taking advantage of legendary KD trying to anti-air. Delays his airtime just by a little bit with the dive kick. Good stuff. Yeah, that was that was a good decision. Oh, we get the greed for two drinks. Legendary KAD just able to punish on the other end of it. Nicely done. Three drinks now. We're close. Yeah, he's been getting a lot of them in there. Legendary KAD has been uh, not really approaching him on it. That's kind of what you need to do against Jamie when he's got four of him. Turns into a monster, so. But we fight him back right now, and our PJs. <laughs> yeah, fantastic outfit. Another winner from the, the Costum 3 bunch. Nice mm -hmm. confirm after the perfect parry. Crimson, here goes to the OD command grab. It is nice. so quick. Oof. Definitely one of his most lethal tools in level four. Easily. Hmm. Oh, another one. offense. I like it. Yeah, I mean, he is in there right now. Legendary Cat has really not found an option. There, we, we do have one with the EX uh, pinwheel, but you can't go for that always. Trading on a crouch and medium kicks. Good tech on a throw Ooh. immediately. Get that time, though. Yeah, that was scary. Okay, things are kind of going bad for Crimson Jaeger now, though. We're almost in that burnout stage. Legendary mm. KAD finds the confirm, so now we get him there. Crimson Jaeger does have the critical art, though. So if we get like a wall confirm here, it's critical art. That nice. Scary. That was a very good, it was a risky DI, but it did pay off. So good option there from Legendary KAD. Mm, why the beach so good. empty, bro? Cause it's, uh, it's cold, man. You know, the weather's starting to change. That's why the beach. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? There's people fighting here, bro. Yeah, yeah. nobody <laughs> trying to kill. Whoa, monster whip. Mm -hmm. Yeah, a little bit too big for our britches. Nice, yo. That was like a counter hit combo conversion. That was sick. Uh, oh, jump in is good. Mm. Choose to go into the critical art. Man, this is going to hurt. We get the neck rip. Oh, yeah. Violent, bro. 
so good. I love the crunch on it too. Wild. Okay, good stuff though. Legendary KD taking the game. Like that. Paying attention presses the button at exactly the right moment. Alright, now this looks familiar. This, you know, me living in New York City, I see stuff like this all the time. Uh, just like this rich, like Asian guy fighting like this girl in her pajamas, you know? It's a common occurrence in New York City. Been absolutely just mauled in that first round. Getting wrecked. Yeah, that's what Jury does. I think, you know, no matter where you feel like she lands on the tier list specifically, her offense is always rated. Oh, we are just in your mind right now. Legendary KD coming up Millhouse on everything. Another punish counter throw. Oh my God, KD, we'll be going to the next game. Mm -hmm. Definitely kicked it up another level in this game, I think. Mm. The pacing was brought up. Challenge has been laid down now to Jaeger. Play at that pace or slow things down. An adjustment needs to be made. There it is, yeah. Still pulls here. But only one player from here on will advance on the winner's side. Legendary Cat looking poised to take this one potentially. We do got a tech on the throw. Nice drive rush. With punish, but you know what? Drops a combo, still lands a hit though. That's fine. Mm. Break dance. Looks so good. Nicely done. Even up those life bars. We are in a position mm. of dominance. Oh, the perfect parry does not lead into a confirm. The follow up is good enough. Happy jump throw. He's so close. Yep. Do it. Jamie. Uh, are we doing this, man? Are we getting back into this? The round Very lead, trying to fight back? Very possible, KP. This might be our first 3-2 set, actually, of the night. Yeah, Whoa! Ooh. Big whiff. Yeah. Wonder if they opted for crouch medium kick instead would have connected. Yeah, a little faster, maybe. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But he does get away with one either way. Crimson Jaeger getting punished now, though. Low on drive stocks, low on life. Legendary KAD going to confirm, but save the meter. Okay, risky decision. Let's see if it ends up biting them. Oh, oh, blown up again. That's the second time in a row. Coming at you, yeah. gets the overhead. Not the drive rush overhead though, so I'm unable to link. Ooh. Hold up, KP, hold up. We might be going oh, into critical dead. art, yeah. No way. Legendary oh. KAD gonna get punished for not spending when the opportunity was available to them. Mm. That is a two to two. Tied situation now. Crimson Jaeger versus Legendary KAD. Like it. Players are hungry. Keeping themselves alive as possibly as they can to see who's gonna advance, but only one will do it from this matchup here. Are we starting off with a drive rush throw. Drive rush medium punch as well. Mm, now we play Street Fighter. Yeah, play Street Fighter 6. <laughs> Hit a red, baby. 101, yeah. Woo. Willie challenged there. So brave mm. from KD and gonna find massive pay dirt on the other end of this. So close for Crimson Jaeger already. 1 0 lead on the round for KAD here in the final game. Bro, that round just started. Like, I just sat down, I got comfortable. I was, was ready fast. to talk, and that was it. That was really fast. Ooh, very good. Very that sucks. Yeah. Had the right idea, but just a little bit too early in that throw. Two drink stock for Jamie. Both characters close to burnout. Nice. Punish counting. Okay, he's in bad shape here, man. Really bad shape. He's gonna have to super if we want to get out, and we get the super. Nice, yeah. Legendary KD keeping themselves alive a little bit longer. Oh my God, just gets the jump and no challenge at all. And we're going to the final round on the 69 second. Let me get a nice in the chat. <laughs> here we go. My man. Gotta be ready for those always. Just gotta, gotta be ready for those crouch and medium kick drive rushes. Yo, shout out to my boy Shams. Woo! With the 25 e That's the dog. They always be coming through. Appreciate you for the support. Thank you so much, guys. Yes. Tense situation here at KAD. Pouring on the pressure. Get the neutral jump confirmed. We have the level 3 on deck. Oh, brother. Yeah, that level 3 getting put to use, KP. It looks like legendary KAD 
is going to be taking this one 3-2 over Crimson Jaeger. That was close. That was really, really close. Thought we were going to see Jamie advance on one there. All right, JP uh, Mirror, my friend, is a treat for us. As we had the Luke Mirror early, the Lily Mirror, the DJ Mirror, now we have JP oh, Mirror. Yeah. Shout out to Brian F. Holding it down for the content creators out there, showing you that he can do both. He can be entertaining and whoop your ass. But neutral, neutral arc, excuse me, neural arc, excuse me, gonna try to stop him from doing that. And we got the light blue versus the dark blue here. Let's see, Dry Rush is in. That is a bad choice, KP. Anti-air attempt, yep, go. What we're gonna see is goons getting sent out. Nice trade. Oh, he was sponsored by Among Us. Hold up. Yeah, what is that? Nothing sus. Nothing sus about this punish <laughs> counter right now. That's looking Brian. clean. Brian in trouble, man. Oh yeah. Getting ugly real quick, and there it is. Okay, so shout out to Nero Arc, keeping things close, pressured in the corner, making things uncomfortable for Brian, getting the round lead so far. Mm. We'll talk about sus. We're trying to see who's the imposter JP right now. But uh, Nero Arc looking good. Oh, yep, there's that explosion. And this is going to be so hard for Brian to make this comeback here. JP, just one of the best snowball characters, I think, in any fighting game, man. It's almost demeaning. It's almost like so sad, and that's gonna be it. The conversion off the spire, trying to make the comeback against JP. It just feels like you're climbing up a hill that is only on an incline. And you have you have no shoes on, and no <laughs> and it was equipment, going. bro. And Both it's snowing, <laughs> and you got a cold, so you sneezing. It is this rough? Yeah, it, it is. I think <laughs> snowball is understating it, but it also you know. This character was designed to run away with game. That is just plain and simple toolkit on offense. He could be, kind of reminds me of like a Dormammu in Marvel 3. I'm going to just read to my own real house real quick. He could be both a cooler and a heater. If he needs to keep things up, he has the tool to do it. And so it comes down as well. So it just makes it so difficult to deal with. Even in the mirror, of course, characters struggle with their own character's tools. That's just part of it. Brian has another life deficit here to start things off. Trying to tie up the life a little bit. We're pretty even. <laughs> here. We're just sending out spires at each other. There it is. Okay, just they're all taking back the life lead. And like you said, yeah, you know it is totally possible for a mirror match to be a six-four matchup. I know some people don't really understand that concept, but yeah. it's it's totally possible. It can happen. Where even in your mirror match, you you, you destroy your opponent because your options uh, and how you use them, they don't have answers for them. Simple thing is, do not get started. Uh, Behind. Mm. Do not want to be the player who's playing from behind. Nice jump for Brian with cash all the way through this and get a round lead. So this time, Brian is steering the pace of the matchup. Oh, yeah. There it is. Anti air, one of the best in the game. Just like that. Yeah, Norok taking a life lead, but goes for the gamble. Brian F. ready with that counter. Cheers. I love it. Checking each other full screen. Neural Art inching forward, trying to Whoa. separate themselves a little bit from the corner. Brian advances at the perfect time and confirms all the way through the level three. He's gonna put a tremendous pressure on Neural here as there a couple confirmed, one touch, one throw, maybe. Oh, look at that. Pressure, trying to anti-air, but at the wrong timing. Neural Art gonna be saved just a little bit longer. Gets the level three, we're going into round three. That is super, Super unfortunate because I feel like Brian was, like I said, trying to look for that. Just barely misspaced the opportunity. Ends up losing the round. Can we clutch this out? Can we shake that tilt? Oh, oh. okay. Yeah, just throwing a miss from both players there. It's scary. And we're trying to be the aggressor here. Mm. Perfect parry. Exactly what he needed. Oh, this is tough for Brian right now. Mm -hmm. Nice oh, reaction no, it's DI, not. though. Yes. Mm -hmm. That's going to even things up a lot. We don't get the side switch, but we do get tons of space. Yep. And drive control. Absolutely. Neural Arc. Wow. 
What? I was gonna say blinking, but does get a, a full jump in. That was interesting there. No check from Brian F. Just walks right up into his face. So let me come in your crib real quick. Hold up. Hmm. The departure lands through the teleport combo. Mm. There's a chance to spin the level two. This does so much damage, my friend. Oh, yes. I have to go for one more, though, just to get the kill. Goes for the setup. Mm. And the overhead sneaking it in. Brian F. Jerk. Taking game two. An absolute jerk. Nice. I like it. You... Oh, yeah. I was about to say, you got to play like that, right? Play like a twerk. <laughs> That's a great choice in Street Fighter. Get under your opponent's skin. Nice open from Neural Arc though. In game three, just drive versus mm. four gets the punch counter throw. Ooh. Hey, look, if you're playing JP, you, you're already not the nicest human being. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so you might as well lean all the way into already it. Already kind of cut throw. Yeah, you know. Oh, oh bro, and crazy. his face. Yeah. Just to punish. There oh, it is. Bro. I was wondering where the OD Amnesia was coming out. But it takes one JP to know another, baits it out, and gets the jump heavy kick conversion. Oh, brother. Things are looking rough for Brian F right now. Nice jump in, though. That'll get things started. Checks him again. So a healthy little life lead for Brian F now. Ooh, big opportunity to cash in off the overhead. It's a great round from mm. Brian. That's a perfect. That's as good as it gets. Final oh, round. Oh yeah, winner of this round will control the set as they're both equaled up at one game and one round. Ooh. We are in burnout already. Brian F has to keep the pressure on. Yep, I like that going into level three to recover. Some of those resources deplete a little bit from Neural Arc. Neural Arc's still gonna have some, yep. Oh, got the me overhead. Brian F with the EX command grab. Mm. Still alive. Alive, yep. Uh -oh. Ball no, bad drop from Neural Arc. Oh, he's reason. swinging. <laughs> mm. Nice choice from Brian F right there. A super conversion was the only way the Neural was gonna get it out of that because if it's counter DI at that point with so low life, pretty good chance that we die anyways. Two yep. one lead from Brian now in the JP mirror. I will say though that Neural has shown the opportunity to be clutch when necessary. So I'm not going to count him out yet by any means, although he does even a big combo to start at game four. For sure. Already to the corner as well. Keeping him there. Brian F with the throw. Whiffing the throw. And that was an interesting option there from Neural Arc to wake up sweep. I mean, it paid off, but not something that's uh, completely traditional in this game. Yeah, big life lead for Brian F. So he just needs to sit on it, make Neural work come towards him. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah, is ready. Oh, things are looking bad for Neural Arc as Brian now advances to set point. Looking very dominant so far. Mm -hmm. Brian up staying clutch. Nice check again. Yep, always got to be ready for those. Push it in JP all the way to the wall. There it is. Here, here, go, here. Oh, that was a big spin from Neural. Try to chain together a few sequences there and unfortunately ends up missing the throw. So it gives Brian F a chance to seize the momentum. Brian F now also in a drive lead. He's going to spin the level three. This is going to put Neural Arc in a terrible situation. Are we going to wake up with the level one, level three? What are we going to do? We don't have the level three. Rome, it's over. It's a three, one win, Brian F over Neural Arc. Yeah, that was uh, very, very good stuff there from Brian F each and every week. We appreciate you guys for hanging out for the ride, but enough of that. It's about to get real ugly. We got win versus electricity. JB versus Coach <laughs> Yes, I like the way that you have set this up. Uh, shouts to JB, who has definitely been one of our favorites rising up lately, showing a lot yeah. of power level in the TNS tournaments. Coach Steve going to try to slow things down for him, though. He's looking for a big finish of his own. It's been a little while for Steve. Nice DI, but a better Ooh. counter DI from JB. Oh, sneaking in the that next one, too, for the wall splat. Good stuff. That was really cheeky. JB just playing so fast. Oh, my God. I was going to say I did not block that. But he's going nuts right now, KP. <laughs> yeah, I know. 
Yeah, usually Blanca's the character that's kind of zipping and zooming all over the screen, but Coach Steve unable to really uh, get started yet. Just like that, he had another throw. Oh my God, we're throwing it out. We're getting started, baby. Oh, bro, this is this is the problem that this character presents is that level two super. The tornado is so oppressive in its options that it creates for the offense and the defense. So Rasheed, Coach Steve survives though, and we bait the level one yep. super as well. So we are looking phenomenal from the side of the Blanca. We have to convert this absolutely from this position to power. How do we do it? Oh, nice just design. like that. Yep. EX up ball. That's exactly how we do it. Steve fighting back, staying in the fight. And he's got three bars too. Once that level two gets installed, it'd be big, big trouble. But nice blow up on the Blanca ball there. Space himself properly to punish it. Baby okay, Tricks trying to create those opportunities, though. This is what Rashid does. Disguises their offense so well within their own animation. That's what's so frustrating about playing against Rashid. It's really tough to tell what he's doing this period. Yeah. Everything flows so well together. He's incredibly tricky to deal with. Really? JB, yeah, JB spacing is uh, really well. Hold up. I was going to say, he's doing a good job, but we got Blanca so going in. There's the goon. Uh, nah. nah. Steve is, is doing such a good job at challenging at the perfect time. She gets a mix up here. Plus the plus on block spinning mixer. Oh, this is as close as it gets. It is, and we got drive back on Steve. 50 seconds on the clock. Ooh. Oh my God, who's gonna sneak no way. on the foot? The EXDP ready for the Rashid. EX Blanca ball. One too many, Rashid had that scouted. <sighs> JB, that is such an impressive reaction. If of course he wasn't last week second place in the tournament, and if he wasn't the previous TNS champion before, I could maybe see that I haven't seen that before, but he has shown us time to time how insane his reactions are. Nice, perfect carry from Steve, though. We will reverse this situation. I was gonna say, you want to talk about reactions? We got them right there. Steve with the corner control. Nice punished crouch medium punch into ball. We're gonna get as much damage as we can. Another OD spinning mixer, though, coming out the perfect time from JB. Mm -hmm. And yet another perfect parry, but because it's awkward and an air to air, he doesn't get a full conversion. Okay, clean jumping. I don't even think Steve was ready to convert off of that. It's so hard to get a clean, like, just jump heavy normal in this game. True. Uh, especially on a player of the caliber of JV, but uh, still got the helpful. Yep, there's a Blanca ball. One of the most annoying moves across every Street yeah. Fighter game that Blanca is in. And it will continue, folks. In Street Fighter 20, Blanca ball will still be bothering us. <laughs> Except that it'll be worse because we'll all be older and have terrible reactions. So. Yeah, it'll be one button game by one. <laughs> JB Hopefully it'll be with your mind, right? You can yeah. It. Oh, dude, please. We are shoot fighter. <laughs> All right. In the neutral, Steve is trying to get that Blanca chance started, but JB contesting exactly the perfect times, exactly the perfect ranges. But the perfect parries from Steve have just been money, man. He chooses to spend the level three here. It is going to be massively scaled, but we do get the the burnout engaged mm -hmm. with just a couple of touches. Oh, nice. Yeah, JB put himself on burnout there, holding parry. And this is looking real good for Steve. He does have the three bars, so Steve can't get too frisky. I like that. Mixing in the throw there. Very, very dangerous situation for Steve, but he can't just go for the oh. DI because he knows that JB's reactions are ready. And now that JB finds a second chance opportunity to get the level two out, oh, it's only going to go worse. Yikes. Nice job, JB, tying things up. One to one in the round on game two. Damn, Steve really was so close to taking that game. Can't let that get in his head here. We got the boy bouncing up. Good block though from JV. Mm. Oh, wasn't ready. Don't try to go for the hop there, but JV was ready. Challenges with the DI. You don't get hit by. Don't get hit by the meaty DI. Side switch that. on the hop, but we chomping. Hops, the hops are so good from Steve, man. He's, he's so great with those. As he gets caught out of one. <laughs> hey, JB hurt us, that's all. But we got level yeah. two installed. This is going to be very hard for JB to close this one out. Not impossible, right? He's got a godlike level two of his own. Uh, Gotta let it rip. Yeah. Steve feeling compelled to do something there and just lands on, on the tornado. What's the mix up going to be? Oh, oh no! Oh no! Oh my god, there's no way I cursed it. I thought that was it for sure. But Steve.
crumbling at the oh. seams right there. Oh no. That sucks, man, because that dude a 2-0 against JB compared to a 1-1 makes a world of difference. This is such a steep hill to climb. Oh yeah, yeah. Especially when the two rounds that you lost last time were rounds you should have won, right? Where you either had a giant health lead or you just was in the mix. But right now, JB is just in the mix. He's in a sauce right now, in his bag, if you will. Checking with the win. Buttons. Yeah. <laughs> and in time to hit the drive impact. Getting knowledge check. Mm -hmm. I felt the timer was ticking for Steve. You know, he's getting pressured for so long. You could feel that he wanted to do something there. And in Street Fighter 6, when you get that itch, when you get that urge, you go for the DI. JV was ready. The counter DI is so strong. Okay, we open up with a combo here to start the next round. Maybe we have a chance. We get this Blanca Chan engaged. Just looks like it. Wait a minute. Oh, we might be able to. Yep, there we go. Get the party started. Battery is not included. And then Doll, we're going to install some. Gets the cross up right into the eagle kick. Back-to-back mm -hmm. -back jump out. I'm telling you, bro. Something about Street Fighter 6. And let your mm. opponent jump out of the corner. It's just automatic. It happens to us all. All right, round three. Steve really needs this win just to keep himself alive on this winner's side. Yeah, this is a tough tournament to win from losers. Just an exhausting amount of matches, so you know players want to do everything they can to stay alive on the top side of the bracket. Nice challenge from JB. The jab combo gets things started. Now the loop, the loop situation is engaged. You can have to guess. That juggle. Oh my god. Nice. The perfect carry. Yep, again, a little bit of scaling on the level three here, but damage is damage, right? In this situation, Steve needs to get what he can. A lot of scaling, actually. Good God. Yeah, very rough to have to spend the level three there in that situation. Now that level two comes out from Rashid, it's going to force a couple of guesses on Blanca. Is he going to be able to clutch this out? Oh. Tornado <laughs> approaching the punish counter. Throw a weak counter on the DI. Coach Steve still alive. Just barely, not as much. Only half a stock of drive. JB recognizing mm. that. Gonna chuck those fireballs and blowing them up after the jump in attempt. JB having options for days. Options for days is a great way to describe the dynamic of that matchup, I think. Listen, I understand it, folks. As we see right now, a, a heavy meta hey, development matchup. Yes. You know, most effective tactic available. You need to use the best tools if you're trying to win that million. And here we go, crossover going up against Abyssal. It's Ken versus JP, the first Ken of the night, in fact. That's on right. Now. That's yeah. right. Our first Ken of the night on stream. Uh, crossover, though, no stranger to the TNS Wednesday night. We see them pretty often here. For sure. And, you know, also very regularly in the top eights as well. So, we'll see if they'll be able to get it done here against the Abyssal. They'll be fighting back with the JP. Nice, perfect parry. Well done. Things are almost dead, even to start us off, room. Yeah, looking good already. Oh, very good. Yeah, definitely forgot about that portal just being left open. You can't. It's a Dragon Lash. Gonna put ourselves in burnout with the OD Amnesia, but Ken is close to burnout, and he is now. Anything will do as far as chip. This will just needs that one hit. But the Dragon Lash, plus frames and the level one, but it got uh, spotted out. What? Oh. That's, that's the man. That's the kind of clutch that crossover brings to these tournament performances. Bro is explosive. No matter how you feel about, you know, he can throw a little trash talk. He can spice it up a little bit. You know what I'm saying? He's he's had a couple of moments hanging out in the, in the TNS chat, but he brings the heat. He's doing it again. The second round confirms all the way. Yeah, bring the juggle. The indeed. Yep, we get the juggle because he doesn't get the animation from the level three. The cute stuff there. Crossover has the corner. This is looking at really, really dangerous here for Abyssal. That was, he definitely didn't want that. That had to be an input error. No, <laughs> no. way he did that point blank. No, no way. No, 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 no. I refuse, but worked out nonetheless. We thought for crossover, just like that clean jump in. So we're just playing so fast and he is so adept at baiting out those ODM Mijas. That's like not good. 
I mean, it's definitely not. JP needs that, man. <laughs> yeah, if you're a JP player and your reversal getting baited that hard like that, ooh, we mm. in a bad situation. Oh, nice okay, good day. stuff. Yeah, we're, we're back, baby. We get the counter DI. Stack some damage on here. Crawl back into this. Oh, wow. JP Morgan looking a little bankless right now. No drive mm. meter. This could come back to haunt him. Yeah, the plus frames on the Dragon Lash. But the level one lands that time. Surprised he went for it again there. You know, what happened last time, but we got it. Okay, Ooh. punish counter throw. That's going to put us really close, man. Ooh, can't take more of those. You can't take any more. Good tech on the throw. Look nah. at that, though. Crossover was ready for it. It makes sense when your opponent is so low on life. To throw out that DI, especially if that's been really represented so far. We get the parry on the Dragon Lash. Yes, yes, we got those. Looks like we got this full conversion as well. Oh, that was such a good idea for crossover. Did wake up back there so he can get eat the first part of that target combo and land on the ground and get a punish. Oh, are we getting looped now? No, we're not. We're going to get blown up by the Crouch and Light Punch instead, KP. Yeah, cashing in on this. That is a smoke show, my friend. Crossover looking to take a 2 0. Oh, well, he's still alive. Yeah, he's still alive. We can still do this. Oh, wait a minute. Hold on now. We do have to put a car. Wait a minute. Let's spin the level two. Get the juggle with no follow up. Things are petering out a little bit here. Oh, Crossover yeah, content. Stuff. Nice. Yeah, that's a 2 0 lead for crossover now over Abyssal. The king looking dominant so far. Mm. No, no parry this time. Oh, Abyssal getting checked, getting pieced apart here. Oh, no. You got the Ken theme in the background, too. So you already know that the power up is installed. This might be a foregone conclusion. Already a perfect. Crossover looking to punch his ticket further on in his bracket. I believe this this win would have put him one more before top eight. Ugh. That's right, the winner of this match is gonna get punk on the other side. Nice DI, but Abyssal was ready with the counter DI as well. Get the juggle here. Are we gonna go for the side switch? No, we're not. Just gonna get the distance and the damage. We are low on drive stop, so we have to be careful. We have to manage this round perfectly if we're Abyssal. Yeah, gonna have to. This one just needs that one big one right there. Shout outs to Chris the Red Bear with the raid. Y'all just in time for this prime Street Fighter 6 action. Just as we are primed for this level three here that's gonna land. Gonna burn Abyssal up. Abyssal's not dead just yet, but he is one more interaction from being sent to losers. Mm. That's bad. We do get a jump out at least. So we activate the level two. Is crossover gonna re- No, he actually gets hit. Cute stuff right there, I like it. Ooh, yeah, crossover was close to burnout, man. Nice anti air, that was so clutch. We wake up level one, nobody home. Crossover's gonna take it. Three mm -hmm. to zero over Abyssal with the Ken versus JP. Zafarino on the other side of this bracket. <laughs> oh man, well, I, I would like to see that one, but before we get there, yep, we're gonna tap into this one right here. So we got our first goal of the night too, Knuckle Do. You guys know him, you love him. One of the best players in the entire world. And uh, someone who is just synonymous with the character Guile, right? I mean, he's used them yeah. across three games now, being one of the best players consistently. But, uh, Ryan, that's not kidding. He's not afraid of that, up into that drive impact. Hold up. The double DI combo from Knuckle Dude to just sap all that drive resource from Brian, put him into burnout, make things chaotic, hard to control. Look at all that chip damage getting logged in. That combo, so he's not gonna die. Doesn't matter because we got the chip mm. set up to follow. Well done from Knuckle Dude. I thought this was a bad matchup for Guile, but I guess not, man. That's what mm. they say. But he has looked very comfortable in the matchup before. Although, obviously, on paper, I could see why JP would give plenty of trouble to Kyle, but Knuckle Dude is just doing such a good job of staying close, man. Yeah, not even giving him an inch to really zone, right? That's the most he's done as far as zoning. And just like that, we're already in. Knuckle Dude, one more interaction, and the nice. drive impact does it again. This is a suffocating pace that Knuckle Dude is playing at right now with Guile, of all characters, using the buttons in addition to the drive rush to approach. We really get just a punish counter throw on a parry attempt there. 
Oh, this is going so rough for Brian. Shout out to Bishop and Chad. He said, bad matchup for Gal, good matchup for Knuckle, dude. And, uh, oh, okay. But yeah, you know, that that's also one of those things where if you're well-versed in fighting the top tiers, which you should because they're characters you see quite often, you can, you know, not necessarily sway things on paper, but just be so good in a matchup like you're seeing right now that it's a non-factor to you. Fair. Yeah, a lot of commitment to developing and learning. Nice departure, sneaks one in there and get the side switch combo. Oh, but with like Guile jump out, that is so brutal. Brian F was in a position to maybe take this round back. And now instead, Knuckle Dude's gonna seal it. Dude playing like he got food in the oven right now. He, right. I mean, cooking, he's watching the turkey. He's like, hold up, I gotta win this match real quick. Go check on that for the fire alarm go off, man. What's my, like, what my bird doing? Yeah, he playing so fast right now. Got something else to do. That's a great idea, man. Of course, we know oh. Guile for being that slow, agonizing play style, but you don't have that option against JP, and we got this dumpster dummy damage, bro. Oh, my God. Triple Ds for you, just like the size of these shoes. We're going to step on your face, too. Look at that. Oh, what a perfect game. If you're Brian F, what do you do? Because I don't even... Like, I don't even know. Like, dude hasn't left any opens for you to get, like, an actual adaptation, yeah, yeah. right? Like, what did he do? That was a blunt object to the head. No ifs, and or but. Dude, he is locking Brian down, closing off all the angles, hitting at every opportunity. Oh, so rough. Oh, my God. He said, take this one back to YouTube and analyze this as do. One yeah. more round away, Sonic Hurricane. Nope, not enough, but what are you going to do at this point here? Brian F needs a lot. Yeah, I mean, do is in burnout. That's great. But Brian is so low that any poke, any boom at this point could do it. So we do, I mean, we build like a solid 25, 30% life back there, but it's still such an agonizing. Mm. Yeah, horrible, tough journey for Brian to be able to get back into that. And just like that, Knuckle Dude is on set point. Big yeah. jump in from Brian, at least. Yeah, the first time he's been in control this entire set. And this is where we can start it up. But yeah, dude, just adamant mm. on just being patient. Get the punish counter. Empty jump throw there. That's pretty punishing to see as well. Dude playing so smart. That was a great DI choice from Brian. Mm -hmm. Level two combo as well. Nicely done. I like this. Oh, we're going to get the, yes, the double DI juggle. That is so smart. Yeah. Thought he had enough to put him in burnout, but he did it. And this is actually going to put Brian F in burnout instead. Get shimmied, sir. Oh, no. We got at the level three. This might be it. This might be over for uh, our hero, man. Our YouTuber, if you will. Level three confirmed. Knuckle dude, like, I got a YouTube. I just put a tier list video out. Go oh, check it. I said JP uh, sucks. 3 0 Knuckle Dew over Brian F with a fantastic Ooh. performance in the Guile versus JP matchup. Well done, Brontribution. That option is available. Okay, we are getting Zaffirino on the Jamie. This is our fourth Jamie of the evening, Rome. Oh, I'm not yeah. Sure what kind of weird magic you put on when you came off the TNS Wednesday night? I know. I mix things oh, up out here, y'all. <laughs> we do got Marissa too. First one of the night. Uh, let's see though. Zaffirino trying to lock her in the corner, and he does get the drive rush throw. Yeah, I mean, Marissa is really hard to represent at this level. We don't see a lot of people, you know, playing her at a super high caliber. Yes. Right. Definitely tough to pilot. But hold up, the damage is so rewarding. To stay in, get the charge right there on the Gladius. Let's get the burnout in on Jamie. Nice jump into the throw from Jamie. Level four active. Urgency increasing for Ada One Strider using the forward medium punch to close things off. Oh, big job! <laughs> really? Yeah, that was a big Down challenge there. right there. Ooh, jump back! No! Nah. And all that hard work from Zaffirino flushed down the drain. Son. Mommy Marissa taking the first round. Okay, we got to level four drinks and we still got beat up. That sucks for the Jamie camp. Mm. 801 Strider pummeling to start the second round as well. He's dead. Oh, Over. Yeah, yeah. 
Just get an unga bunga out of your mind. Punched in the face. There's no way you're coming back from that, bro. They'll never recognize you. Oh, wait a minute. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Perfect KO. Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, mm. I mean, I think Zafarino just missed something up there. Um, he didn't, especially in that first game, he definitely didn't want to just do a walk forward, like OD breakdown. So, a couple of input errors from Zafarino early. That's definitely not the kind of error you want against Marisa. She will make you punish for it. Oh, okay. Speaking of punish, nice whiff punish there. Zafrino, he is so lucky, though, that that palm recovered in time and he did not get cracked in the dome. Yeah. Oh, there it is. Into the corner. Things can get ugly really, really fast, and he's low on resources. Oh, puts himself in burnout with the DP. Oh my god, KP. This is gonna be a dead JP. Uh, excuse me, I'm gonna say um, JJP. Jamie. My bad. Dead Jamie. Yes, indeed. The Strider is looking strong so far. Standing tall. No pun intended in this matchup. Looking pretty hard to budge. Nice forward heavy kick. Punish counter. Not able to convert, though. Zafarino fights back with a sequence. Got one in them right now. Wants to get, get some more G fuel in you. Start gaming out here. Let's see what we can do. Just staying in her grill though, trying to look for a big punish. And he gets a jump and does not finish the combo, and that could uh, be Oh, uh, that could spell disaster gets the, the command throw. Not the back throw into the corner, man. Okay, tries to loop the command throw situation. This time Zafarina fights out. And then the DI juggle. We're so close. We have to clutch this out. Nice, yeah. We do. What a throw. If ain't nobody got me, I know light punch less plus light kick got me. Nice juggle. The Jamie is pouring it on now with the level four activation. I love this level two. It's such an interesting option in Street Fighter 6. All the pressure coming on. Straight. He just wakes up with the level three. <laughs> Massive read and it pays off big. You say your pressure is not real. That's just Marisa things, man. You have mm. to reversal that way if you're going to at all. That's all she has. The level two or the level three. Fights back with the jab mm. confirm. Suddenly Zafarino now running out of drink and running oh. out of meter. But not out of options there. He's got a little bit left. Gotta try to stay alive, but the big whiff on the dive kick is gonna cost him his life. 801 Strider taking a second game. How are we gonna get to switch to Dawson? Uh, no. no. Keep it in, yeah. Keeping it locked in. Yikes. Getting his head caved in to start the first round of game three. No, not the Brock reversal. No, Marissa definitely out here smooth braining people, bro. Just cracking your dome, taking some down. And this is our round point here for 801 Strider. TNS champion looking to retain his title this week the way he is playing. Was that Farino holding his own as well? Here we go. G fuel up, baby. That's what I'm talking about. Let's get it in there. Sneaks in the overhead. Yeah, I mean, I like I like the position, but we've seen it evaporate so quickly. And two meters already on deck for Strider. Oh, brother. This could just flip upside down at any second nicely done zafrino gets a throw and it's a back throw as well four drinks activated this time the hard way oh yeah oh, and he's gone yep gonna wrap this one up here good stuff zafrino staying in the fight oh okay checks him with the forward heavy kick into the into the gladius so stacks on a bunch of early damage nice check with the crouching medium punch it's one of marisa's best buttons Oh, this is bad. Yep, right into the level three. Oh, it's gonna get ugly real fast. Drive rush. I thought she's gonna drive rush in. No, drive rush at that time. And another perfect sealing the deal. 801 Strider is gonna advance into top eight winners. So, you know, anybody who's still left here in the tournament on the on the lower side, they are big threats. Do not sleep whatsoever. Okay, Najee mm. with the jury versus Complex with the DJ. This is what we expected. This is what we're going to get.
Oh no, big whiff punish on that heavy kick up kick. It'll take full advantage now as you try to punish again. Gets the pinwheel. This is kind of a weird matchup because Jury is really explosive in that medium to super close range. But DJ, of course, is going to have the advantage at full screen, you know. Mm -hmm. it, but DJ often uses that full screen leverage as a launching point to start the exceedingly far drive rush game. So, you know, pretty good job from Complex representing a multitude of options early. Putting Nod yeah. in a tough spot. He's on a mark with those anti is every time. And it's funny, you do mention the drive rush. Never mind, we're gonna get a dead uh, nah, Najee right there, dead jury. But I was gonna say, um, you mentioned the drive rush and we haven't even seen much of him just doing it, right? Yeah. Like that's, uh, of course, of course I say it. The commentator's curse. You know how we do out here, folks. <laughs> he's representing the uh, the solid DJ toolkit up front. He's trying to, you know, do the whole run, setting up pass play kind of vibe. Najee, of course. Interrupting at the perfect time, but even okay, that was so deep and still complex was ready. And we get the oh, size oh, quiz, brother. Yeah, smart That's stuff hot. right there. That was very hot, very spicy, very zesty, like this level three is about to be. Hey, hey, hey. I love this level three, by the way. It's so cool. Oh, God, I gotta play DJ again, bro. Yeah. I just gotta get good. <laughs> He's got to get good and play him, man. He's such a sick character. Like, he's almost a complete turnaround from what he has been in any other game. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, they've, they've massively developed this character's toolkit into something really complex and really enjoyable to watch. Nicely done. Speaking of complex, getting things started early. Three throws in a row, and the third one's a punish counter back throw. Najee gets the perfect can't parry, so we're going to be able to get things started, build some separation here. Back throw, so we're changing positions now. Najee with a chance to get in control here. Mm -hmm. Oh, Najee was ready. Hey. Good jump in. Uh, right time. Clean heavy kick in. Full conversion. Back dashes the throw, though. Good option from Complex. Najee with the bad situation going to worse. Pretty much nothing they could yeah. do at that point. Complex with the right decision to OD fireball their way through the round. Nice trade. Mm -hmm. Trying to create some offense here. If he knew that trade was coming, that up kick definitely would have followed. Mm -hmm. Oh, another trade. Now, Glad to see to... trades back in Street Fighter, baby. Oh, yeah, trust me. And <laughs> I know that was something a lot of five players uh, missed, but regardless, here we go. We're not missing that confirm. Just like we're not missing this one either. Najee going to get his first one of the set, of the round, excuse me. Oh, sneaks in the drive rush overhead. Yep, that's going to be it. Crucial option in the offensive jury. Well done. Mixing in at the exact perfect time. Najee looking solid in their response here. Nice anti air as well. Okay, we're starting to shore up the holes a little bit, baby. Can we convert this? Can we tie things up? Complex says no. Advances four with the drive rush jab. Punish counter throw as well. Uh oh. Uh oh. Things are getting out of hand. Oh, good stuff. Yeah. Even though he didn't commit to the full target combo, still minus on that second hit. Aji, uh, nice answer here. Crouch medium. Gonna keep it going here. Looks like we might be getting a level three. No, no siree. Saving it for the last hit. Understandable. DI yeah, in the neutral. Good option when your opponent is in burnout, of course. Looks like Najee's gonna work their way back out of burnout, though, pretty safely. Oh, nice. Gets the throw for complex. Yeah, we got drive meter again. EXDP's out. Oh, that's a bad trade. Any touch would do it at this point. For both of them, actually. Both sitting on full meter. Yeah, critical art for DJ as well. Pretty scary. Yep. Ooh. No fireballs no at all. He took the bait. Najee's going to block that. Yeah. Good patience. Yeah, well done from Najee. Clutching things out. Played the whole sequence out. Played the whole situation. Trusts himself to win it. And finds a 1-1 tie now. Although, I mean... Kind of got away with one. Complex was still playing pretty well right up to the very end. Yeah, I'd say so. As he's starting to make these adaptations, that's where things get a little bit dangerous. But we are going to get tossed into the corner. It just jumps right out. Like you said, that's the, the story all night. Nobody wants to be in that corner, especially not in Street Fighter 6, right? Yeah, no, I have to agree, man. Oh, good check there, Complex. Really putting together a few scary patterns that were giving Najee an awkward time. 
Thought they were going to be able to run away with it, but Najee responded at exactly the perfect moment. Turned things around, the drive rush jab, going to close out the round on Najee at a round lead with game three. Coming at you indeed, says Jury. Very good check. Yeah, Najee's feeling it right now. You can always see the confidence in a player when they uh, start to just land everything, right? Wake up super. Nope, just like that. It's going to work. No way, mm. dude. Players are getting so good with the perfect parries on the drive oh, yeah. rush buttons. They really, really are getting great at React. Is that green, baby? Reacting to anything right now. Yes, like I said, the confidence level is coursing through Najee's veins right now. He is showing you why he is so dominant. And Complex is now on his back end. He's got to make these changes here. To try to stop Najee from securing this win. Yeah, man, I think uh, Najee has really planted their heels in his just leaning back on these super strong jury tools. And as Complex is trying to get in motion, trying to make things fancy and difficult, Najee's having none of it. Just staying solid and pressuring. None at all. Up, EX. Up kicks, gonna get himself to safety. Okay. Nice, the double. Oh, mm, yeah, oh, one too many wild. normals. Yeah, pushed him out of range. Big unfortunate, but still a chance to win this. Yup, machine gun up is gonna do it. All right. Complex with a chance to fight back into the set. Oh, a whiff dive kick. That was kind of weird. Yeah, it's a drive it. rush on the other side. <laughs> oh, we got Jury's uh, T-Mobile music commercial music going on. It's like a, it's like a phone. <laughs> like I, I'm pretty sure I've heard this song in like some like. T-Mobile commercials somewhere, but it's all right though. It's all good, chat. <laughs> Ooh, sorry, I can't help but meme on Street Fighter Six's music. It's so funny. Yeah, you block so, on your bed. Some of it is outrageous. I agree. <laughs> nice jump in from DJ. He's gonna be able to cash all the way through this. Complex completes uh -huh. this combo. Uh -huh. So bat level three. Let's go. Uh -huh. I love that combo. Very nicely done. So we're going to go to another full count set here. A two to two tie. Najee versus Complex. Back and forth the whole way through. <laughs> I'm learning about the new RV sandwich with this beat. <laughs> Introducing the Android <laughs> Arachnid. Uh, y'all hear it. Okay, so I'm not crazy for hearing it. I'm glad y'all hear it, chat. And I'm having a good time. Complex bringing us to a 2 2 right now, though, KP. Yeah. Only one can advance. Yeah, Najee opening up in a big way, though, in the first round of this final game. Massive life lead. Complex answers back. Najee says, I'm not going to consent to the further pressure and OD reversals. <laughs> Complex responds, and kind, we are officially at the slugging point of the match. Oh, yeah. Nice, oh. trying to just... Yeah, I like the neutral jumps there. Trying to check the drive rushes, but no need for the neutral jumps when you got a crouch medium kick. That just reaches the other side of the screen. Good stuff. Najee, round point. Ooh. Oh, this is dangerous. Najee kind of gets away with one. He's kind of cooking. Yeah, both players are moving really, really heavily right now. They're trying to fight for dominance. There it is. That's what Najee won the last time. Baiting out the back heavy kick with a dive kick instead. Heavy so bad throws instead. Complex looking good. Ooh, he really throws that there. That was so clutch from Complex. That is unfortunate. He jumps forward, and so the OD, or the uppercut, excuse me, juggled him into the corner. Somehow finds his way out of the corner anyways. Complex and Burnout jumps into the corner. No, he's going to die. Oh, he's going to die. Gonna hurt. Oh. Yep. You're going to die for your dead. troubles. Level three is on deck. And it's actually, it's critical card, not even level three. So you're getting all that stank foot all in your face. The damage is going to land, and this is going to be it. Najee advances. Oh, brutal L for Complex, who I thought was playing really well, especially early on in yeah. that matchup. So well done to Najee. Bring him back. Bring him back. We're doing it. We're doing it now. Just like we're starting this top eight, folks. Let's go, KP. It's going to be Luke versus Guile. Yeah. Let's get it. Okay, so Guile's going to have that projectile control once he gets things settled. But from that distance right there, that like close mid-range distance, um, Sandblast will actually be favored. So it's going to be interesting about how they both play with space. Nicely done, Joel Ume Rogan ducking under the back fist. That does give you a punish counter. 
starting with a life lead against Guile. That is a pleasure. Oh, and much needed. One thing I will say, though, it's going to be harder for Guile to throw booms from full screen. That EX Sandblast would clear them, even though we're wow. not going for it, but that's that's okay. Sandblast is a very interesting projectile. Yeah, to say the least. You are going to get thrown, though. Hold up. Ooh -wee. Nice. Oh, the slow overhead. Yeah, that took forever. <laughs> it's still connected. Insane. Oh, He's not dead. Look at him. Oh, he's just closing the distance with the normals. I like that. Knuckle Dude chooses to activate the level two. Mm. Good That's, choice. You know what's so unfortunate about that, KP? The combo is actually what caused Ume Rogan to lose, right? Putting himself in burnout right there right. and right. pushing Guile full screen. That's the one thing you don't want to do. That is one of the most interesting things about Street Fighter 6 is when you engage the burnout situation. Um, it's just such a pivotal mechanic in this game. Back into neutral now in round two, and Knuckle Dew is piecing Joe apart. Already at a 50, growing on 60% life lead. We are comfortable right now in his couch. Big chilling. Got the Crocs on. Got the drink in one hand. Snack in the other. Mm -hmm. Knuckle Dew ain't moving at all. Yeah, this is looking really rough for Joe. Nice spacing from Knuckle Dude. Going to close things out with the 1 0 lead on Joe Umi Road. There it is. We are shutting down the whole airspace right now. I mean, that's just Guile 101, man. When you think yeah. about the zoning, traditional zoning, you look it up in the dictionary, and you just see Guile combing his hair right next to it, right? <laughs> it's Guile air throwing you. You always yeah. talk that he has one of those whenever he gets you. Mm. Giving up a lot of space here in Knuckle Dew, but just, you know, choosing to play the Sonic Boom game. Can't jump. It's so frustrating fighting Guile, let alone a Guile piloted by Knuckle Dew, but we do have a perfect parry. And Knuckle Dew yes. wanted to continue to push Joe towards the corner and stack on pressure on that drive gauge. And Joe perfectly carried that situation. Well done. Now gets a corner mm. control of his own. Ooh. How are we going to engage that with a big, fat, jump heavy punch, my friend? Much needed right here. Ume Rogan needs to close this out as fast as he can. Gets the tap on the stand, medium punch. Yeah, he's low, low. That will do in big trouble. And another jump in. Boy, gonna get things started in a big way, Joe, on the board with the round lead. Yeah, good spacing on those jump heavy punches there. Right outside of Gal's range for a crouch heavy punch. A level one super, too slow. Hey, there it is. Uh, uh. Yeah, big damage stacking in early. Nice cross cut DP. Oh, Joe showed some respect there on Wake Up, though. Nice Ooh, jump in. Uh, and he spent money on this run. Yeah, he is finding that hit. I like it. You see the adaptations close to level three. Gonna get the throw. A little bit of health left for Knuckle Dude. We are in burnout, though. Ume Rogan still sitting on a decisive health lead, though. No way he fumbles this, right? Right, KP? Nah, this this really no way, tough. right? We're gonna probably see like a level okay. two activation. Actually, Knuckle Dude was ready <laughs> with the anti air, but the wrong button. Yeah. The original. Let's see if the players have it worked out. Yes, it looks like we are in the match. Yeah. Okay, back, back in, in it. Yep. And it says one win over Ume Rogan, so we do know that it's still 1 1. Mm -hmm. Nice start from Joe. Had a little bit of a life deficit, but we do get the, the uppercut at least, so we're paying attention. Not iced out here. Mm. Oh, that back gonna get tossed. Crazy. Yeah, that was <laughs> the pimp hand right there. Try to catch him. Oh, <laughs> just bro, really? Inches up, yeah. I like that. Just slowly inching up close to him. That was like some hitbox stuff. <laughs> nice target combo there from Do. He's a sniper with that target combo, man. Great OD boom interrupts the momentum from Joe Ume Rogan. Shuts things down. Joe does continue to press, though. We are at a life deficit, but we have a chance to get the quarter game started. That's flash kick, baby. Can't One jump touch. in on the charge character, man. Ooh, wait a minute. We bait the action. We bait the OD reversal. Oh, hello? Dead. He is. He's actually dead because of the drive reversal punish. Wow. Oh, imagine. KP, imagine using the, the system mechanics the right way, but still dying for it. Yeah, that happens. That's, that was a good bait from Joe. I mean, he didn't commit as hard as Knuckle Dude clearly thought he was going to. So, yeah, Dude thought he was clever, thought he was getting away with one. 
No, Joe's ready. Nice uppercut. He's ready. Yep, with that uppercut. Sweeping the legs. We do have three bars though for Knuckle Dude, so you already know he gets a hit. He's gonna land, but a hit from the jump. Heavy kick instead. Man, what do you think it is about Joe that he's creating all these jumping opportunities? It seems like maybe the the ranges that Luke is really strong at is just creating more awkwardness or hesitation. Now Knuckle Dude, nice juggle, sir. <laughs> oh my goodness. That was sick, nasty. Oh, and you got the wall. You're dead, Buckaroo. Luke's going on a t-shirt. Super dead. 2-1 lead now for Knuckle Dude. With a great answer back in round three of game three. But Joe was fighting. I mean, this has been a very competitive set the whole way through so far. Yeah, guys. Taking it to London right now, brawling all over the world. That's one of the best changes i think uh in in any fighting game right just the the stage changing up constantly yeah, it's cool oh, sick. it is very refreshing wish we could get this loop theme out of here anyways <laughs> oh, music to my ears brother <laughs> <laughs> Kyle chains together a perfect bread and butter and we get the side switch bazooka knee nicely done knuckle dude showing mastery of the character max distance downtown flash kick oh things are looking rough for joe right now but doable. Definitely not over yet. He's a little low on drive meter, but still. Oh no, a big swing and a miss. Nobody home. Knuckle Dude said, I got your batter up though. Mm. Two, one, lead my friend. Is this yep. our fifth flavor of mirror that we've had tonight? Mm -hmm. We had, we had the DJ mirror. We had the Luke mirror. We had the Lily mirror. Now the Marisa Mira, Edo and Strider rocking costume three, the wedding dress, and he is looking to uh, to put this uh, punks uh, Marissa <laughs> down. Let's see. Uh oh, big whip to start things off though. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, you see if punks real about this? Oh, can't do that. Not against Marisa, my friend. Especially not one of this caliber. We are gonna get a punish though. Oh, we got a protector noggin on that one, my friend. Oh, there it is. Goes for the command throw. Punk with the health lead now. Get a dash oh. up roll though, for the win. Marissa stealing it back from Marissa. Oh, buddy. Oh, but hey, we had a JP mirror also. Yeah, so this is our oh, yeah. fifth mirror of the night. All different mirrors. <laughs> Rare target combo there. What's up, Dr. Church? That's the boy. Appreciate you with the subby. Yeah. My man's eating right now. I see that. Nice air target combo. Scroll him right back at you. It's a great, important option for Scroll him on the scoot him. I, I mean, so that's the problem. I mean so much saying scroll him, but I meant to say scoot him. <laughs> <laughs> Put that's the kids to sleep, baby. It's Wednesday night. Oh, yeah. All right. It's after hours. Right yeah. now, round three. After hours matchup as well. Look at this, this control from Strider, <laughs> just pushing Punk into the corner, the stand heavy kick doing all the work. Look at him. There's like two tree trunks just moving in front of each other. Yeah, the body's on Marissa right now. One of them is only gonna be able to keep going. Three bars on both. Strider gets the fully charged Gladius. Nice stuff. No way. <gasps> Wake up, critical R and it lands. Massive damage coming in on Ada One Strider here. A massive drive advantage for Punk. How is he going to try to translate this? Nice with punish. No! <laughs> that was so smart from Strider. New Punk was going to try to reset for the drive impact to get the wall splat. My man's was buffering level three in between. Bruh. No, no way he sticks to this, right? He switches. <laughs> oh, oh you're gonna lock it in. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> mm, well, what did you say earlier? Anything you can do, I can do better, right? Yeah. Does that include wake up level three? I mean, for what it's worth, he took it to him, right? He took mm -hmm. it to Strider in that first game, so. Uh, uh oh. Strider might be getting into a comfort zone here. The damage oh, yeah. is snacking in on Punk. Nice one punish. Didn't finish. Got him again. Yep. Happy to oblige this time with a conversion from Punk. Dead even on life. 
A little bit of a stock mm. advantage for Strider. Now Punk down to just a couple button presses. Ooh. Shout out oh. to Complex for the raid right there. Good stuff earlier. Nice oh, challenge oh. for Punk. That was what? so good. Well done. That was a crazy read, right? Because mm -hmm. like he he knew Strider was going to go for the drive uh, impact there. Yeah, speaking of Reed, man, gets the perfect parry as well to start the second round. Now Strider finds himself in the corner getting contained. Mm. I'm kind of oh. backing off, bro. Galactica Phantom indeed. You know, I, you know, the Ralph player in me felt that one, chat. <laughs> Hold up, though. Strider taking it to the corner. Ooh, good oh, good one punish. Yeah, you cannot press any button in front of Punk. He's always ready. Juggle, well done. Didn't commit to the string, so we didn't didn't bone ourselves there. If we committed, we got punished. Nice punish counter from Punk. Chooses to spin the meter. We're gonna go all the way through. We don't quite build the level three. Ooh, this is close, man. Yeah, it is very, very close. 49 seconds on the clock. We have full meter for both. Goes in with the Superman punch. Ooh. Oh, oh no way! Buffering Rome, no! Fuck, oh, what a sick read right there to win punish level three. And it's gonna be 1 1. Dude, this is so juicy. This is so juicy. <laughs> oh man. Down to game three. I mean, look at this, Mar look at the Marissa, right? He's a uh, 2000 MR, so. Yeah, I mean, it's legit. Of course, Punk <laughs> has played every character all the way to the end. That is that is something they, they managed very early on. So it's it's definitely not like a, yeah, a day one character situation. For sure. Oh, no. Nice clutch oh. jump out. Yeah, that was a big win. Some damage. Happy to spend as much as he can. Wake up level. Yeah, it doesn't even matter. <laughs> Not this time, player. Mm. All right. It wants Strider unfazed by that last game. Yeah, that was a great round, Strider. Looking to start this one off and similar a success similarly as well. Pushes Strider or pushes Punk all the way to the corner. Mm. Now we're cashing in on command throws. This is going horribly for Punk. It ain't looking good up until that point, though. We got the full Gladius. Gets the plush frames off the drive rush medium kick. Oh. Goes in for the Scootum. I like it. No way did we get thrown out of OD Scrotum. Combo <laughs> goes, comes all the way through. Punk ties up the rounds. Oh, not the OD Scrotum. <laughs> Look at these guys moving in neutral. Oh, he just hits him with the target combo. <laughs> they get their dance too much. Level three on deck for both players. This is a scary situation. Marisa players are locked and loaded. The throw loops are engaged. Level he three, you're gonna it. it. No, he got him instead. I for sure thought Punk was gonna block that time, but no. Right option for 801 Strider. He is out of meter though. Punk's hitting on three. That burnout though. Oh, perfect. Convert. Yeah, too high up there. Punk's getting back some drive meter though. Oh man. Too long. Oh, dude. Uh, you get the cash in here. Do we build the one meter? No, we don't. Go build it. Oh. Oh. Yeah, count is out. He's, that's not gonna work. No, Punk. What are we no. doing, my friend? Mm, not sure what he was trying to go for. Maybe trying to bait something else out from Strider, but Strider just gonna be content on blocking that. Yeah, that was definitely a questionable choice there, but we're gonna lock it in. It is going to be 2-1 right now. Strider one more round from advancing into winner's top three, which will put him firmly into the pot bonus. Yeah, I mean, he was looking good right up until that fatal execution error, whatever it was. Oh, nice standing heavy kick. Punish counter. We get the juggle there. Not much afterwards. We get the follow up punish counter again. Stacking on damage, choosing to spend the level one. Maximum pressure on that drive gauge. He charged it up all the way. Yo, the whole thing. From downtown. Ooh. Didn't spin though, so he's still alive. Absolutely. 63 seconds on the clock. Punk got opened up here. Looks like it's just in time. That's gonna be a dead Marisa. That's actually a combo. 
Yeah, it's pretty rarely dope. Rarely ever see that combo, like rarely ever. All right, that's the right point, time, man. though, when you know it's gonna kill, right? It's the best mm -hmm. time. Nice punish counter. Big damage opportunity from Pong. Pressuring gets the overhead as well. Follow up situation plus frames. Chooses to respect him. Nice. nice. Yeah, very, very good with punish right there. Crouch medium punch. Pong taking this one back. That's going to be it. Mm. CJ Pies dropping the prime. Shouts to all of our primer supporters in the chat. We appreciate you guys. We know you only get one. So dropping it here on the TNS channel. And we much appreciate it. Thank you guys so much. Punish counter. Standing heavy punch from Punk again. Starts with the life lead in the third round. Tries to space things out. And Strider gets a big hit instead. Big old hit. Oh, all the right. guard. Yeah, the armor just going to go right through it. Level three super. This is massive damage for you to one strider. Putting him ever so closely from closing this out. Punk down with CA. What is he gonna do, KP? It's a good start. You're gonna get a throw. Yeah, this is the problem with Marisa. Her defense is absolutely trash. So it doesn't matter how much life is left on the opponent. If you find yourself in a situation where your back is against the corner, you are in trouble. Strider mm. comes out at the perfect time and reverses the situation. Takes a 3-1 victory over Punk. Talking about that Street that Fighter. Mm. All right, top tier stuff. Oh, Najee yeah. on the jury versus Crossover on the Ken. These are top 10 characters duking it out. They have been strong since the first day of Street Fighter VI. Mm -hmm. Opening up furiously from both sides, spinning a little bit of drive, coming out pretty even overall. Okay, oh. good patience here. Now she tried to bait out a DP with the delay on the dive kick, the crossover, content to just block until eating that throw. And now eating the feet with the drive impact there. Good stuff. Corner control from Jury. Crossover fought out at a good chance, but the follow up situation all Najee cashes in into the level one. That's a dead character. Big stuff there, yup. Round Play lead for Najee. Man, everybody plays so fast in this game. Yeah, honestly, it's just built into the engine of the game, right? Offensive maneuvers, forward momentum gain new resources back faster than blocking and retreating. So it's just constantly encouraged to press if you're able. Mm -hmm. I don't know, it was something the developers definitely wanted to hit home, man. Offense, offense, offense. And we're seeing it right now. Two punish throws in a row. We're going to put a punish for you. Mm -hmm. I definitely understand, you know, wanting to go for DI in that situation, but crossover sniffed it out. And with that situation reversing, now is kind of in control of this matchup. Players ending up dead even. A small stock lead for crossover here. Are we going to be able to convert that green into positioning? Looks like it. That Very was good. Yeah, sneaking in another Dragon Lash here. Good stuff. On a round. Great combo. Ooh, tense moment. <laughs> Ooh. With in front of each other. Nice tech. Well done. Green. Oh yeah. yeah, good bait right there from Najee. Throwing out those low fireballs. Got the jump that he wanted. Oh, it's blocked, but the follow-up combo is good. Crossover under pressure here. We're gonna see an OD uppercut. No, chooses to hold the parry instead. Mm. Hey. That was a Tried to challenge. Button. Yep. Najee taking the first game emphatically. Looks like a perfect. Is that a perfect? Might be close to it. I think that's a no, that is a perfect Her. dominant stuff. Perfect on the board for Najee to seal out the first game. I think Jury probably fights Ken extremely well on the whole. I don't I don't think that I mean like a Hadoken helps tremendously in the match because Jury yes. anytime you can field a fireball horizontally against her, that is a big help. But you know, Jury's offense is just crazy. Nice punish counter. Najee in control here. Aji's using every option available, too. I love to see that. It's the player maximizing every tool from the, their character. A nice drive impact into the corner. Just like that crossover backs off. Yeah, he's mm -hmm. 
Just until he lands that EXDP. Right. Mm -hmm. Good decision from Crossover. Getting the round lead now in game two. How is Najee going to respond? Choosing to spend a little bit of that OD stock early on for Fireball. Nobody home. Not able to punt. Oh, dude. The neutral jumps from Ken, they hurt so bad. Oh, yeah. Oh, we trading. Two big crushing medium kicks right there. I'm liking the, the presses. The Good buttons here from Najee. Nice anti-air. Ah, oh, he tried to shimmy. Tried to bait, but the long legs of Ken Masters. Yeah, that crouching medium kick is a dagger, my friend. But Najee answers back with one of their own. Gonna spin the level three. That's gonna put Crossover in a burnout situation. The things are not over yet in this round for Crossover, but they are not looking good. Really? Ooh, wake up! Just button into Genrai kicks. Critical Art's gonna land. Shoot him! Yes, gonna get his resources back. Really? That was max, max distance. Oh my goodness, Nazi just reaches into the bag and steals one and again checks with the max distance crouching medium kick. Ooh. Phenomenal, man. Phenomenal spatial awareness by both yeah. these players too. Crossover getting the max range on that heavy kick into the, the complete conversion. Nice DP, that was so late he was able to still manage. Yeah, these guys are feeling very evenly matched right now so far in their exchanges. Oh, there it is, Dragon Lash. Us K1 players used to make a joke and call Dragon Lash a hop CD. Because it's like, ah, it's basically right. the same thing, right? Like, yeah, very similar cadence, gives you plus frames. <laughs> mm -hmm. so we're used to dealing with it. Sorry, Street Fighter players, you guys are yeah, dealing with sucks. it now. <laughs> nice walk under an uppercut to get the conversion. One more for those for Najee could take. A crossover chooses to spin on the plasma instead. Whoa. Really? <laughs> what a read from Najee. That was sick. Judy. That's wild. That was such a clutch decision from Najee. Now at a 2-0 lead, playing super well. On point, sharp, and accurate. Not very often that we see crossover kind of pieced up like this. I mean, they have been fighting, don't get me wrong. That has been very blow for blow. Yeah, nice. You're not going to jump out for free. Yeah, every time. Look how fast Najee is moving. He smells blood in the water. Yes. Just pressing forward, man. Holding forward like it's Sonic the Hedgehog out here. And that's going to be the first round. I like the offense. I like the pressure to moving forward, like you said, but not overextending, right? We didn't give away too much. Didn't get too excited. Kept things clutch. It's a great matchup between these two players. Crossover's going to have to find a way to dig deep, though. Now all the way down, and Najee lands a deep, deep DI into the Feng Shui engine also. Mm. Ooh, missed that medium punch. Uh -oh. Still going to take his turn, though. The crossover gets a much needed knockdown. Has to turn the momentum into his favor. This is literally his last chance. Perfect parry. Good start. That's a wild perfect parry, by the way. Naji just wakes up with an even more wild OD reversal. <laughs> yep, doing more damage than that perfect parry confirmed. Yeah. <laughs> use, the, use the fireball to approach. Look at them, just mm. fighting for space in neutral so cleanly, knowing that either one could land that crouching medium kick that could end the other at the moment. Yeah, that nice big perfect hit. parry. <laughs> big parry into the uh, throw. And yeah, Najee trying to close this one out. That was a bad jump in from crossover. Meaty fireball. He has to deal with it. No DI right there. Fortunate for him. Crossover still sitting on CA, though. Okay, this could be it right here. Oh, that's so unfortunate for crossover, man. Not over yet. The Feng Shui engine is engaged. We get the fireball follow up. Don't even need it. We're going to convert into the 3 0 win. Najee advancing in the loser side over crossover. Neutral will be as difficult as it always is. For sure. I mean, it's the telltale of a JP matchup, right? Can you deal with the zoning? Because if you can't, you're going to get swamped. Right. But Rashid, a character that's just historically in your face, right? Always finding a way in oh. just like that EXDP to get started. And with the added aid of Drive Rush here, 
Yeah. Just reacting with the OD spinning mixer like that so easily. At the start of the round, JB definitely playing already on point. But Brian F is by no means out of it. And we get away with the second departure. A little crossover action there. No, not this time. Stay grounded, my friend. Yeah, no advancement from you at all. JB Try implores you to stay grounded. <laughs> Go. Nicely done. Gives the drive rush confirmed. Pushing him to the corner. Potentially going to be putting himself in burnout. Not at all. Pick up off the, um, the spire, excuse me, and that's it with the overhead. Yeah, awesome juggle there in the corner. Brian very practiced in their combo conversions, so when they're given the chance, they usually do have an optimal option on deck. So well done, Brian, taking that first round. Mm -hmm. Down and out, level two online immediately. Thank you, good choice. I'm gonna get that installed, but we do have a drive reversal. Doesn't matter. Jesus. Just wakes up into your grill again. And yeah, Brian gets away with that classic Street Fighter 6 jump out of the corner, though. Look at this. They're going basically coast to coast. Yeah, trying to back off. I was wondering what uh, Brian F was looking for. JB just gonna keep holding it down. One more hit away from taking this round. Not if yeah. Brian F to say anything about it. Try to go for cross medium immediate again with the drive reversal. Both oh. players are in burnout. Oh, it can get ugly. The block. Chooses to oh. use the level two here. Interesting. Yeah, I was oh, wondering that hit. too. Nice. It might work out. He's very close to getting meter. Yup, he has it first. Gets the d drive rush overhead and. Oh, why? <clears throat> why does he almost have another bar already? He literally is almost at the point where he could do a second level two. Yeah. That's so yeah. impressive. We might have to see a level two from JB though, just to, sound, to try to secure this round. Mm, we went the fake ghost, weren't ready with the anti-air though. The drive rush confirmed gives us an opportunity. Are we gonna take it, Brian F? Yes, we do. That is a 1-0 lead for Brian over JB. Brian F betting on himself, spinning the meter early on when he was at such a huge health deficit, and just like that, it paid off. A clutch decision. I like the commitment there. JB with that big opportunity themselves now, though, to get that crazy Rashid flow mix going. Brian F shuts it down with a perfectly timed perfect parry. Fights for all that space out of the front of Drive impact, gonna find the hit. Fortunately for uh, JB, though, wasn't a blocked one. We do get a clean jump in. Some of that meaty tornado action I was expecting to see. Trades with the drive rush, dash on there, nobody home. Mm. The follow up pressures are strong, though, and JB gets a conversion out of it. Up, oh, ODM, he's just, just to get out of there. Good patience from JB. Up until that point, got open up trying to do something. Really? We are gonna eat a command throw instead. Nice anti-air. Brian F yet level two is out there just to lock him down, right? Chip him out, perhaps. Ugh. Yikes. Absolutely, the pressure you feel in that moment is immense. The ghosts are swarming you, all kinds of options. He can use to mix you up. And now in the second round, he just challenges it exactly the perfect moment. Brian F playing stupendously here in the top eight loser side. Maybe got some work to do. A ton of work you can see Ryan F right here looking confident even though his back is literally to the wall nice perfect parry right now is almost a certainty for Brian F at this point there it is all that pressure now from Rasheed gonna be coming in an extra effect haven't had to activate the level two yet maybe we don't even need it what's the combo gonna be here see how much he's gonna opt to spin right here Legolas thank you so much for the sub just in time here to watch this beat down from JB. What the finish of the combo right there, defeating all of his resources because we're going into the final round. This is our final round of game two. If Brian gets this, man, would it be a great comfort to be up 2-0 against JB. But JB is a lower bracket fiend. I don't know what it is about their power-up situation, but it is definitely live when they're in the lower bracket. Hey, it's that thought of uh, you know losing this and that's it, right? You got no more no more uh, tournament to run. Sometimes you tend to play a lot better. Your defense is a bit more crispy. Your options are being more optimized. As right now, we're seeing these throws land. 
And it kills me. See where she just dashed through that tornado there. So speedy. Brian F. not afraid though. Just completely presses in the face of danger. Reverse all the way through the level 3. And now in a massive point of power. The walk up overhead. Bro, he just stakes it from him. Dude, that Ooh, overhead. Oh, holy. That overhead KP literally has been the bane of JB's existence. Lost the first game to it, and now lost the second game. JB down on his back to the wall. This is it for him if he loses again. Thanks, dude. That, that was a dagger overhead if I've ever seen one. JB unleashing now, though, in the corner. He got that side quest NPC drip. That's the that's the latest fashion in Nashaw, <laughs> man. That's what we all wearing in Nashaw. Fire. You must say you can get the catalog. You can get the magazine. Ooh, nice juggle. All the way through. It's going to do so much damage. He chooses to spin. Going into burnout. Any touch will do it. Mm. Oh, that's big mm. damage. That's really big damage. Yep. Pushing them further away as well. Brian did some spin more. bar, though. He did, but the last time he spent the bar, it worked out, right? That's You're right. Seeing that happen. Oh, up until that point. Yeah, good check on the two. Uh, on the crotch and light punch. Excuse me. I was gonna say I was gonna say two L, but uh, we'll keep <laughs> that, it with Street Fighter terms. Here. That, that works flies around here, sort of. <laughs> Y'all know what Ooh. I mean, chat. Drive rush overhead, cash is in from JB. Now this is starting to look pretty solid for them to get back into this set. Just running wild over Brian here <laughs> in the offensive stretch. This corner pressure is going to go all the way. That is a board, a point on the board for JB. What a and nasty it. sequence, bro. He never gave Brian F a second to think about anything. Yeah, when this character is on all cylinders, when it's firing, this is what it looks like. I mean, the way that the animations flow so seamlessly together, it's like it's like some Assassin's Creed shit, man. It literally, like, it is impossible to tell what this character is chaining into the next sequence. Yeah, literally the, the what is he cooking meme in full effect, right? Because you have no idea what's happening. Uh, being on the defensive end, no fun. JB gets a throw, pushing Brian to the corner again early in game four. Be bad. Brian holding strong, though, fighting back, trying to get some space. Oh, not deep oh. enough for him to get a complete punish. But we are going to get, okay, got to stuck in some damage off that counter hit. Immediate throw attempt, though, from JB, and it lands right back at you, though, says Brian F. Maybe low, really low. Low on life, low on drive. Mm. Brian pressing. Nice job. Set mm. point for Brian F at this point. That's last week's second place, JV. Oh, stayed in front. That was, that was crazy. Even Brian wasn't able to convert off of that. He wasn't ready for it. There it is. Green Desert Storm. It is out. Nice. Oh, the is out too. <laughs> he tried to poke through it. Trades with the tornado. JB gets the conversion. Steals all that momentum. Aye. Yeah, what if a throw feels terrible against this guy? Yeah, it's gotta be god awful. You have to see it though. Mm -hmm. Nice ghost. Really? Yes. Locked and loaded with the DP and gets the overhead as well. Trading, but we have the life, so we're able to win as we push it to the final round of game four. JB looking to tie things up, but Brian F looking to close this out. Does not want this to go to game five, especially against JB. Oh man, JB was so far away from that second meter stock, but he just opens up with all these combos. Now he's going to build that level two to be able to create all kinds of problems with Brian F as soon as any separation is created. Just getting in all that damage. But she moving like a Marvel character, bro. He was just in there. Facts. Facts. That's kind Hard of what he was. He channels. Oh, we mm. get JB all the way to the burnout, though, from that level two pressure sequence. I like this for turning it on. Much needed. Yeah, man. Brian F. And the F stands for fighting back because that's what he's doing right now. Mm. Up until he got schmixed by the air movement from the turbulent wind. Level two is back out again. Oh, that's no. Hard. Is this a JB Classic? Is this a JB Classic? Brian F was on set point 
was in the lead, had the opportunity to cement things. Now JB wrestles it all the way back to a 2-2 situation, something that they have been meaning to do over and over again in these weekly TNS tournaments. Alright, Brian F on the back end now, JB making the comeback. Definitely needs to try to neutralize him now. Don't want it to get any uglier than it needs to. Sniping out the drive rush from JV. Yeah, and low oh. on stocks as well for that punish. JV pretty much barely sneaks up to two. Okay, go ahead and choose to spend one. Get things started. Corner sequence is engaged. That overhead, it's so meaty, my friend. It's so oh. hard to tell what he's doing, right? Because he's like, even in his normal jumps, he's hopping around. You don't know if it's a move. Wait a minute. <gasps> oh no. Okay, we still got the hit though, KP. We're still we're still in here, but uh, but the corner situation is everything, man. Real estate market indeed. And he gives up everything to put himself back in the corner. JB reacts perfectly with the OD spinning mixer. These are going from bad to worse. Brian, I'm scared. I'm super scared, but he fights out with the staff spin. Uh oh. But here is that wall. The giant wall of wind just seems to make players shake and crumble on their knees. JV is up 2-1 and a round point here. This could be a reverse 3-0 for him. This sucks, man. So unfortunate for Brian, who was in a fantastic position just a couple of games ago. Now down bad. Low on stocks. JV pressuring already has Brian moved to the corner and the DI. I feel like the first one we've seen in so long. Mm. Right. Super Rashid get pressuring. All oh, that guard gauge. Wake up level one, but it's not fast enough. He's going to get punished on the other no end of this. No way. We're seeing him crumble before our very eyes, KP. This Wait might be the end of the story for our favorite YouTuber. Let's see what happens. though. Just to level two. Finally, JV gets opened up. Cracked on the dome there. Push some full screen to start the zoning. Yes, sir. Oh, he's close. He's really, really close. JB trying to get out of the burnout, and they do manage to successfully. Chip damage is off the table for now. We drive rush in, and we find the confirm. Are we going to be able to convert this all the way through it? Just like that, JB reverses the entire set. Comes back with a 3-2 to two win over Brian F. Impressive, JB. Until we commentate the next one, right? That's right. We go sit. We're not allowed waiting. to sleep. Ready, just by the phone, waiting for Tong to call. The red eyes and all, right? That's right. Oh, wait a minute. A little oh. false start. A little false start action. A little button check. Nope, we're going into it. All right, we're straight. Najee, I mean Najee's jury got to sleep where or she might have been sleeping. That's right. That's right. Yeah. I wake up. My right. favorite detail about that suit is that her hair is like all messed up from laying yeah, around. Yeah, the bed head. Yeah, the bed head. That is stellar. They really went off these costumes. As Najee just goes off with the OD early reversal. Excuse me. Doesn't pay off. Joe I mean, Rogan makes things pay in a big way. Almost a round deficit for Najee early. He's going to burn out. Mm, he's he's still connecting. It. Wake up super from Najee, but I don't like that. Not a good idea. Yeah, I would have just opted to save the resource. Maybe he thought he could land a hit, but even if it did hit, it's still a hard comeback to do, right? Uh -huh. Burnt out, you have no health, <laughs> and you're fighting me. Scary situation for sure. Najee likes to do that though. They just like to stay aggressive, stay on top of things. Don't like to be passive at any point. Opens up the second round with a nice little combo. Creates an early life lead. Catches the sidewinder attempt. Well done. That was sick. Yeah, the cross under into the uppercut. Mm -hmm. Adjusted himself properly. Uh, uh, uh. Nice corner control from Joe. May Rogan getting the lead situation set up. But the patience from Najee. And finds the crouching medium kick at the perfect opportunity into the Feng Shui engine. What are we going to do here? Look at that corner carry. Yeah, from coast to coast, literally. Taking him to the other side. Feeling blue right now. Clips the legs. Yikes. Getting the last bit of that level two super out. Whoa. Weird interaction there. Yeah, too far for the throw. That's going to hurt level three. Yeah, it's really far engaged, too. Mm. Want to say that? Yeah, I was going to say not going to be enough just yet. But Sandblast is so scary in this situation. I mean, this is kind of what Sandblast was designed for as a move. Checkmate, my friend. 
Joe Ume Rogan takes the first round, first game, excuse me. Like I was saying before the set started, I would love to see Najee push through and get that big win and press further into this tournament. But I do feel like Joe Ume Rogan is probably favorite a little bit in this matchup. Yeah, I mean, the way he's playing right now, right? Optimizing every chance he gets. And like you said, Luke, just such a dominating character. Some will put him number one. As a Luke player myself, I'm going to downplay a little bit and say Ken is number one, but... Cap. <laughs> I'll allow it. I'll allow it. There it is. JB, thank you so much for the raid as well. Oh, too many. Now you got juggled. Mm -hmm. Oi. He getting beat up. Save this man. Oh, oh, oh that was cute because at first I was like, huh? But the actor frames on the uppercut there. That was a little cute confirm right there. Cute stuff from Ume Road. Throw situation. Oh, it's not quite a throw loop, but very close. Najee gets the reversal, and Joe Ume Rogan in reversals mm -hmm. again. That corner real estate is everything in Street Fighter 6 as Joe contests Najee's advance at the perfect time. The level yep. three is Bell. Oh, brother. Yep, got it at the right time. Definitely hurting here. Najee's going to have to make an immense comeback here. Lots of decisions, but not going to matter because the overhead will do the trick. Yikes. Okay. This is bad. This is really, really bad. We're down and we're going back to character select? No way. Oh, switch to Chun-Li. We have seen Najee do this once before, I believe. Yeah, not a bad option. I wonder what the idea is uh, to switch out of Jury. I mean, he just really couldn't get a chance to play. Luke just smothered her with his buttons like he does a great portion of the cast here. Um, but here we go, Chun-Li making her way to the stage. I'm interested in what improvements uh, Najee believes Chun-Li brings to this matchup. I mean, Hazanshu does technically challenge fireballs. It's not super mm. amazing in this game, but I mean, it can. It's hard to punish Sandblast with that, though. Just like that, to go for the OD Hazanshu, and this is not the right time. Luke gets a big punish. Oof. Yeah, he's expending a lot of resources here, just, you know, waking up with parries. So far, the pick isn't working out here. Najee going to get blown up by the cross-cut EXDP. Joe Ume Rogan, set point. Yeah, Najee, I mean, is a very, very talented player. So I am absolutely not going to question the decision. But so far, it is not going well for them. It's looking a lot like it was for the jury. Joe Emmy Rogan putting on a clinic in this round, threatening to run up a perfect. Najee gets a perfect parry of their own and fights back. But still, oof, we are already in yellow life territory, my friend. Oh, that's it. Immediate challenge. Yeah, the Chun-Li pick. Not going to work out. Ume Rogan. Two. This level two that has been giving everybody fits. Feels like nobody has had any solid practice and any solid answers for how to deal with it. Maybe there isn't. Maybe the tool is just that good. JB opens up with a big combo to start things off. Punk playing with the absolutely wild out-of-pocket color scheme. <laughs> I was thinking that in my head. I'm like, this is Sheesh. all over the top. Definitely pink the god right now, if you will. Mm-hmm. He's going to wake up with an EXDP. This is good stuff already. Locking JB down. I mean, if you don't want Rashid zooming all over the screen, this is one way to do it, right? Just put him over to the corner. Mm -hmm. What's the throw there? No punish, though. Yeah, this is definitely Vice City vibes, uh, Luke, right here. I right? like it. Yeah, I'm feeling it, man. What is it? Uh, vaporwave? Nicely done. Uh, uh, uh. So he vaporizing this life bar right now. Gonna combo into the level two. That is a dead machine. Punk super optimal on that punish, taking an early round lead against JB, who's not quite there yet at the level two, but basically there. Yeah. Another hit will do it. Yeah, speaking of hits though, we got the crouching medium punch. Yeah, it's not Strong. good if you're getting hit though. If you're getting beat up, it's pretty hard to get that level two in game. <laughs> For sure. Gonna get a trade. Gonna go into Punk's favor here. Give me with some strings. Oh, man. Oh, missed the upper? Unfortunate. There we go. Got that one. Oh, the double shimmy. Rare holographic. Uh, folded ear double shimmy. 
Damn, you said the grade oh. 10? Mm-hmm. That's the grade 10 double shimmy? How much mm -hmm. that cost? That was crazy. Yeah, never see it. Mm. Don't ever work like that, but that's the way you draw it up. Punk gets a 1-0 lead over JB, but we've seen this dance before. <laughs> JB never out of these sets. The ghost ran double shimmy. I get it. I played Yu-Gi-Oh. JB's stocks are gone. Definitely looking low right now, looking malnourished. Black and white depleted on meter. You're gonna get jumped in, my guy, and another one. Interesting that he went for that double DI there. Doesn't matter, ends up sealing the round anyways. Luke is seeming kind of oppressive for the Rashid toolkit. I'm not even gonna lie. <laughs> the stop sign that is crouching strong. It's a ridiculous button. They're legitimately gifted buttons among gifted buttons in this game. Just the fact that you can press a button that doesn't whiff on Crouch or has any stupid rules on it and it just gives you plus one on block. I mean, it's crazy. Yeah. Oh, speaking of crazy, that was a little funky confirm right there. Mm -hmm. Off the EX fireball. This stuff from yeah. JV. Nice conversion, all the way through with it. Meaty setup is strong. The button presses are good, but then Luke just gets a jump in combo. He's gonna die, Rome. Yeah. He's got the critical, are you dead? Yeah, Punk kept it very, very simple. Didn't even go for the uppers. Why not? Get your damage in. Punk's already up two games. This is looking kind of free right now. Yeah, I mean, very impressive, to be honest. And again, I reiterate the same point that I made last time. What's up, Najee? Coming through with the raid. Good tournament tonight, fella. Mm -hmm. Impressive, as always. Shout out to the homie. Always enjoy watching you play, man. Oh, right now, though, we got Punk. Talk about playing the game, right? Punk right now. Full confirm. He is playing. I think he's making JB really uncomfortable. It just seems like what we're observing here. Punk is, is playing completely at their own pace. Comfort zone, engage. That Dude. was sick. Dude. What a response. Come on. <laughs> Come on, dude. He is not stressed in the slightest. He is completely dialed in. Yeah, this definitely might be it, folks. Crouch and medium punch from Luke. He be down to his last stand, his last chance to remain in this bracket. Sometimes, you know, it do be crouch and medium punch. It do be crouch and medium punch, KB. I mean, why do anything else, honestly, at this point? It is what it is. Uh, you know, Rashid has got to take some chances in that mid-range as well. So, they're very often going to be pressing buttons. Nice punish counter cross-up. Okay, wait a minute. Good. I mean, it was expensive. But we're on the board. That's a round. Yeah. Keeping himself alive, right? Stabilizing. Checking the pulse. Two bars. We did. We did have to spend two bars. Uh-oh. <laughs> We're getting perfected all over the screen. Yeah, you're not going to be able to get out of that one. Punk closing in on three bars, though. Next confirm will definitely seal the deal. Oh, and we got an oh, error oh, occurred. Oh, oh no. mama mia. Dig into his bag of tricks, pick another character. But uh, right now, no, we're going to lock it in here. Let's see who takes control of the set, y'all. It's winner's finals. 801 Strider, nothing to do. All right. It's gonna be an explosive one. Both characters packing massive damage potential. Ada One Strider, of course, gonna be holding tons of Sonic Booms until they can feel out the position and find that yeah. crucial entry point. Find the entry right there with the throw. Gonna back away. Yep. Don't want this big burly lady next to you at all. Flash kick away. Okay. Oh, the stop oh. sign, crouching light punch from Marisa. That's an essential. No combo, though. Big opportunity left on the table for Strider. Good punish right there from Nokudu. And the drive rush confirmed. Let's go. Optimizing right there, spending every drop of that meter to get the finish completion on that combo. Oh, nice trade. I love it. I love the sound direction in this game, right? You're just right. seeing the big hits. And the trades, like, it's so good. Uh, Superman punch. We're blocking. No, we're not blocking, actually. Looks like they might have went for a throw attempt or something. 
Mm. Jab confirmed from Strider is good. That means one more sequence could be enough and we find it. Don't spend all the way through. I think that's a good decision. Mm -hmm. Take some of that bar with us into the next round. Oh yeah. They don't want Strider coming in hot right now. Three meters stocked on Mirsa. We got close to three for Guile, so not a bad situation for either player. You are gonna get to confirm off the light normals. Mm. Gladius in the corner, so scary to deal with. Just stacks on that pressure to your drive gauge. Strider is sitting at a small stock deficit though, down a couple of bars. They're both locked here on three meters apiece, so supers are available on deck for either player when they need them. Oh, that was such under. a late. Yeah, that was a really, really late jump at light kick. Let's try to walk him down, though. Anti air from Knuckle Dude. Nah. nah, he's blocking. Yeah. Is that a bait? It looked like Knuckle Dude whiffed a button there, and Strider was just reacting. So maybe not a bad idea from Strider, but Knuckle Dude more than prepared for it. Still barely alive. I mean, technically possible. Yep, still oh. uh, has drive meter. No. Oh, the Superman punches over. Puts itself no. in burnout, but. We're plus one here on the dash. No, we don't go for it. Uh, you got to know Flash Kick is just ready. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Had it locked and loaded. Knuckle Dude content right there. Was going to let that rip no matter what. He takes the first one. Great, great game from Knuckle Dude. All the way down to the clutch decision at the very end. Keeping things tight, not throwing it away. Nice walk up throw there. It's an early and small life lead, but it definitely gets things started. Oh, he's so good at these conversions. I don't know how he does that. Yeah, I'm always impressed by Knuckle Dude's execution. Just being able to land those and confirm those every single time he can. I mean, Gal is a charge character, right? Like, it's gonna mm -hmm. take some time to get those, but mm -hmm. nice bait. This big stuff right here. 801 Stride is gonna land. Look at the damage into the empty jump uh, regular throw excuse me that's gonna be the first round yeah caught knuckle dude participating in the meta on the safe jumps there a lot of players have adapted to the safe jumps by trying to perfect parry them and once right was ready seals the round knuckle dude in the second round though stacking on a big life lead. 30 percent damage already gone from 801 strider I'm looking solid in neutral as well so far no way in for the bride and no wedding here. Gal says I'm good, man. My wife's name is Julia. I'm already <laughs> married. I got everything held down. I don't need these problems. <laughs> I don't need these. Really, what a check from Ada One Strider. That crouching light punch so crucial to Marisa's game. It is her fastest button. Ooh. Taking a fast EX fireball right there. Dunk in an order ahead. Dragon suplex. Great job from from Knuckle Dude. Just staying super solid, very clutch. Knowing that if they gave away anything big, Marisa would have the opportunity. This is a good start from Strider though. Moving Knuckle Dude all the way into the corner, establishing pressure early. Very good firm right into level three. I think it's a good decision. Go ahead and spend it. Put yourself in the best position you can be to close out this round. Ooh, and we get the hit. Puts her closer to burnout as well. But we're gonna go right into level three as well. Strider keeping that combo very, very simple. No critical art though. Ooh, it's not gonna hurt as much as it could. And Knuckle Dude still technically with a small life lead. Yeah, it still did 50% of what he had, right? <laughs> like, that was such a brave reversal, man. That was. No! Oh, the big fist has got to cost Knuckle Dude this game. That is such a rare confirm as well. From Risa players, the punish counter crouching jab is one of the only ways you can go from a jab into a medium combo starter. So nicely done from Strider to be paying attention and complete that combo. And we just open up with a charge forward heavy kick. It's one of the grossest starters you can hope to get for as a Marisa player. Oh, but he lands it. Look at oh, this, two brother. combos, KP. Like I said earlier, death, taxes, and Marissa just putting the hurting on you. It's inevitable. It's going to happen. We do flash kick out, though, keeping ourselves alive just ever so more. This is where we get dangerous with the zoning. He's going to have to grind so many spawning booms, though, and it's just one forward heavy kick. 
that will do it for 801 Strider. So now we have a round lead here in game three. Marisa over Knuckle Dude. The guy all looking solid, though. I mean, it hasn't been like a big weakness from either player yet. No, not at all. It's been back and forth. We're just playing the game as best we can. Another throw. Shimmy mm. for your life. That was six up from, from Knuckle Dude. Look at that sequence, man. Mm. That was a very simple punish counter there. I like it, though. Not leaving any damage on the table. And we convert with the OD flash kick. <laughs> tying things up again. I mean, this is going to go round for round, I feel like. Bar for bar. Someone in chat said, Cornbread. I can't hear it now, it man. I know, oh, yeah. Man. Ruined forever. It's definitely there. <laughs> All that respect from Marisa. She's trying to find that one explosive opportunity. Guile conceding space. Low on drive stocks. Could go into burnout at any moment. Woo Woo caught on the back end. This is a great combo, by the way. Yeah, that was sick. Sets up perfectly into the level two zone. Creating problems for Marisa's approach. Evening up that drive stock game. Very intelligent game so far from Knuckle Dude. He should be able to close this out. As long as he doesn't eat a level three, we're all critical art. I mean, he has to play this as safe as he can. It's not over yet. You can never count out Marissa with her damage output. Very good drive reversal. It'll create that space and another perfect from Knuckle Dude. Yikes. That's not good. There's really, there's really like. There's bad feelings in Street Fighter 6, and then there's terrible feelings. Playing from behind against Guile 100% classifies as a terrible feeling. It's just like such a mountain to climb, such a wall to overcome. 801 Strider's going to really tighten things up and dial in if he wants to make this comeback. For sure, man. Get, getting peed on once is not cool, right? Getting peed on again, he's got to move out of the way. Right now, we're trying to do that. 801 Strider making sure that he can try to secure out this round here. There we go. Ooh. There we go. The reversal from Knuckle Dew. Mm. Ooh. I'm surprised that didn't catch. Oh, there's <laughs> a throw there. There it is. There it is. We got it right there. That was great patience. <laughs> very, very well done. Okay, the one strider fighting back. Again, tit for tat, man. You think one one player finally starts to get a, a little bit of leverage in this matchup when we go for the wake up level two, it hits. Yes, Punish sir. counter for extra damage. We find that out. Mm -hmm. Yo, Jamaican, you said who's on commentary? This is Rome himself. That's First time homie. doing, uh, I'm about to say KOF, but that's my main game. Street Fighter tonight. We're out here rocking it. Me and KP are firmly grasped and this winner's finals. I'm looking to take this. Yo, I'm motivated. Yo. Play, do you just let that happen? Mm -mm. Oh. Yikes. Yikes. Okay. Ties up the rounds. Yeah, this could be potentially a set point here for Knuckle Dude pushing himself into grand finals. Perfect parry, though. Good stuff from 801 Strider. On a scale, but let's take that corner, baby. Okay, he closes off the corner. I like that. We don't get hit by that Street Fighter 6 poison. We're not letting anybody just jump out on us. But Knuckle mm. Dude finds a perfect chance to green dash forward, cash in on all that momentum from into level 3. That's going to buy us so much time, so much resources. Things could be slipping away from Strider. How do we just get that raw forward heavy kick? Immediate driver first. Look, get away from me, you big burly woman. I don't want you near me. Another Dude, he one. Again? Yeah, he had to, though. Put himself in burnout, KP. But he had to do that. Yeah. Drive impact. Are we going to block? Oh, he's dead. Jump in. No bar needed. We're going to game five. Oh, my God. That finally a jump in just land. Smashes in the damage. Seals the deal. It's a two to two. Here in our winner's final, I wouldn't be surprised if it goes to the last round once again. I did very well with these players. And that was a big O with Punish on the Crouch Heavy Kick from Gal. Oh, back throw. That is so crucial. Massive reversal. You cannot mm. DI that, my friend. <laughs> that will not go well. Yeah, Marissa is just built in to deal with the system mechanics, right? So many armor points on her moves to just deal with drive impact. 
Mm. Yikes. Now Strider suddenly finding himself in a dominant position set point. Two mm. meters to one. Can we convert this into another grand finals appearance for 801 Strider back to back weeks with Marisa? Hello? I mean, if it could be done, Strider is that type of player. Never count someone in, like him out, man. He's uh, super strong in multiple Street Fighter games across the board. Yeah, he's a warrior. Mm -hmm. We could say the same for Knuckle Dude, though, right? No stranger to this. Gonna get a perfect parry. That's what he needed. Puts her to the corner. So we can start some boom loops. Crazy that they hit the perfect parry on the charge back heavy punch as well. <laughs> oh, what a punish counter. Strider with a quick confirm into the level three. That's not gonna be enough. Crap, man. This is a really rough situation. Mm. Dude, he's so on point with that jump, medium, air to air. Yep. Nobody at home for Knuckle Dew as he swings for the fences. A to one Strider collects the W, moves into Grand Finals winner's side again. Yep. Situation of the tournament. JB's gonna have to get through Luke once again. Was not able to do it. Well, was able to do oh, yeah. it by charity on the winner's side against Punk. Now in the loser side. Mm -hmm. Or it should be in the loser side by Punk. Now in the loser side against Joey and Rogan. This is what I like to call the hot seat, right? The winner of every set from now on stays on. Mm -hmm. So they will have to stay on and keep playing to the best of their abilities. And it's been a long tournament, right? We're four hours in. Definitely some fatigue set and end, but we got to see who has enough patience, who has enough strength to pull on. And here we go, right? Loser, Simis, Ume Rogan, JB. Rather calm uh, game so far, I would say, KP. Yeah, I would agree. Pretty muted start. 30 seconds past, almost 40 here on the clock at this point. Players are respecting each other a lot in the neutral. Maybe JB is trying to feel the matchup out, try to find the right opportunity and cadence. Get dialed in on Joe's mannerisms. Oh Ooh. yeah, oh. Yeah, just duff in the face right there. Ouch. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, early round lead from Joe. So a continuation so far of the beatdown that Luke was giving JB prior. Level two is active. Are we gonna be able to get our free damage here? Yes, we do. Yes, we are, yep. It's gonna land Link off the spin as well. Man hit the crash bamboo. Whoa! <laughs> That's my boy crash. Mm. Throw Luke That's situation crazy. engage. Luke just jumps out though. Up, gonna EXDP on wake up, saving himself a little bit more. Really? Ooh. That's such a wild animation on his perfect parry. My man get his leg all the way up there. Oh, Joe sent JB to losers. That is fascinating. So really, it do be Luke, man. Giving a lot of problems to the Rashid pick here. Mm -mm. Land in the level three combo. So a lot of damage coming in early on JB. They do have the level two basically guaranteed. I mean, not quite, but it, it, it's basically there. There it is. Too slow on the DI. We're in burnout too. Lots of chip damage. Push himself in the corner. JB trying to find a way out. Not going to be able to get one. A big dizzy. Cross cut, uppercut is good. The options are dwindling for JP. Punish, counter, throw. That's more than enough to get the first point on the board. Joe Ume Rogan with the lead against JB. All right, back into the neutral. This is awkward for Rashid because Luke is such a wall. All of the button presses, the sandblast fireball. It's kind of like a custom-made character to give Rashid problems. Yeah, <laughs> I like that. He's just, too, he's just built from the ground up to be annoying for mm -hmm. for the win guy. How, like, how do they expect him to be a lovable protagonist, right? Like, <laughs> there's no way they. I mean, there's a reason they went back to like the design of we. All right, we just need like Luke, right? Just white yeah. meat baby face, right? We got to get this guy in here. Like, yeah. like there's no way you design Rashid to be the protag. He's so annoying. He getting smoked right now, though. Mm -hmm. Another great round from Joe Ume Rogan. Very dominant. Opening again now in the second round with another combo. 10 seconds into the Spanish. We got a life lead. JB finds a confirm. Fighting back now. 
Trying to close oh. on his counter button with the extension and the drive rush overhead. Okay, Rome, we'll put it together a little bit here. Oh, try to whip punish. Not fast enough just yet. Goes for the parry. Nice DP. Love how fast these players are playing. And JB gonna miss the opportunity right there with the EXDP. We're going to level three, folks. Should put him right on the edge. The brink of destruction. It's all about what comes next. Dang. <laughs> yeah, that's about to say. About as simple as it gets. Pretty much anything will do it. The crouching jab will do it. Oh, man. 2-0 lead now for JB, bro. Luke seems just outrageously problematic for Rashid. This is a complete shutdown. All right. Nah, still not lowered to the ground. Yeah. Gets away with one. OD uppercut. Who fights back? Yikes, dude. Mm -mm -mm. Try to perfect parry up. Nobody home. Yume Rogan is definitely looking poised to take this one. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. JB not out of the woods yet. Nice challenge at the perfect time. So we do see all around here. We're still fighting, baby. We got two bars. It's gonna be another JB Classic. What if it was JB Classic? <laughs> it would. It would not uh, be, you know, surprised, right? If that happens, the team just busted out here, make the comeback like we saw him do earlier. Eagle kick. Nice. My oh, man waited for them to come down. Get an extension on the combo. Uh oh, yeah. Well, oh no. Here it comes KP. This hot yeah, start. I don't know. That's one on the board for JB. It's 2 1 now. Rasheed fighting back. JB classic. Oh. Drive rush in. Defense is solid from Joe Ume Rogan. Oh, one too confirm. many. Yeah, one too many cross medium punch getting blown up for it. Because, yeah, he's been hitting those, though, I will say. He don't care. He don't give a damn. Mm -hmm. Once you see that green atop his bar, you're like, yeah, I'm good. <laughs> I can let it rip. Can't anymore, though. We're out of OD meter. We're just ripping target combos right now. This is crazy. <laughs> nice slide. Mm. Counter, counter. That's all I see on the screen. We're just swinging for the fences here. Yeah, funny, the boots didn't burn out, so he's like... I'm just gonna keep pressing. I don't wanna block anything, obviously. Trades are good for me. JB now at a critical stage in burnout. Life low. Ooh, yeah. one more button press could do it. This gets real ugly for him. Blowing up the target combo. Okay. Ooh, this is scary. Yeah, JB's got a chance to actually run this back. Dog, that race sheet animation is wild. No way after all of that, he just gets hit by a crouching medium punch. <laughs> now Joe Ume Rogan on set point, threatening to eliminate JB here in loser mm. semis. Hey, hey, look, as a member of Luke Nation, shout outs to Capcom for that button. Please, <laughs> please keep it the same come next year, guys. Thank you. Okay, bro. Let me run, ask bro. Santa for that one. <laughs> <laughs> crouching medium punch, crouching medium punch. Things are going from bad to worse for JB. Almost out of line to walk. This tightrope is closing in, man. I don't know what else we could pull out here from the JB camp. That's definitely not going to do it, but no punish from Joe. Excuse me. Mm -mm -mm. Oh. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Crouch medium punch. Quick confirm off the shining knuckle into the level three. Joe Ume Rogan with a 3 1. Eliminating JB, sending him back to Memphis. Oh, I wouldn't hate it so bad. We're gonna see what happens. Knuckle <laughs> dude on the guile, going against Joe Ume Rogan on the loot. It's main chickens the whole way through. Oh yeah, man, just bobbing his head to the beat. Here we go. It's United States versus Canada. Mm. True. Mm. Nice conversion, Knuckle dude. He's been so on point with these tonight. Nice juggle. Yes, sir. The zoning, Ooh. solid. The combo, solid. The corner control, solid. Great start so far for Knuckle Dew. Yeah, just locking him down. Knuckle Dew, such an aggressive guile. Uh oh. He sniped, though. 
<laughs> nice. Yeah. Why not? Why not, right? Disrespect your surroundings, man. I don't have to hold this. No way. No, no way. Establish it early that you do not care, right? Ooh. That you will just flash kick through. He had life to give as well. So he had, he had a chance mm -hmm. to his punish. Oh, not this time, though. Things are going really rough for Knuckle Dude. Already down on a massive life deficit. Chooses to go for the OD flash kick. Now, <laughs> yo, yo. <laughs> Commitment, sir. I. The go family ahead. man committed to it. He's gonna, he's gonna do it down to the bottom. Don't wow, need burnout on Joe right now. Oh yeah. Oh, actually for both, yeah. yeah. Oh. Really? That was Big so range. far. Yeah, you definitely must have pressed the button or something. Yeah, yeah when you're crouching in Street Fighter Six, your throw hitbox is far. Mm -hmm. Big old booty on that thing, just like that sandblast to the dome. Wanted the final round, first game, three bars max on both player sides. Nice trade combo right there from Knuckle Do. Oh, that was kind of a weird situation. Joe, nobody home, and Knuckle Do on the other end of this going to get a fat level three combo. All that damage cashing in early. This is a massive life lead for Knuckle Do and corner control. Looks like he's poised in a fantastic position to take game one. Will he be able to close this out? <laughs> mm. Oh, yeah. Knuckle Do's perfect spacing on that drive rush. Mm. Medium kick. Yo, he hit the Shawn Michaels, man. That's the sweet chin music ah, right there. That was. That was on the money. 1-0 mm. lead for Knuckle Do. Taking us to game two. People have been kind of hating on Gao recently, man. They're... You know, he was a solid, easy top five lock-in for a while there at the start of the game. He's kind of fallen off on a lot of conversations. It's been up for people like Knuckle Dude and you know, Kaba to really represent this character at a high level. Knuckle Dude doing a fantastic job tonight. For sure. And he always does, you know. Uh, mm -hmm. Always a top contender no matter what tournament he's in. Nice heavy, uh, crouching heavy punch there from Luke. Drive rush combo as well. Mm. God. Checking with these buttons, so obnoxious is Luke. One of the best additions to a Guile's kit in so long. That advanced projectile giving so much potential. Guile combos all the way through to the level one. That's a 16 hit Guile combo. Delicious. The round. Yeah, that is so fire, man. I'll watch that mm. every single time. And Knuckle Do is so creative, man. He always finds a way to just get that hit. Was it a long combo? There's the up Sonic Hurricane. Nice mm. check. Doing a good Hero job of. Yeah, he's just doing a good job of, you know, kind of caging Joe's options. Just playing that very simple Guile game plan to the T. Normal anti airs. Keep things tight to the chest. Yeah, man. You can't go wrong without the basics, right? Yeah. Can't go wrong with it all. Super effective. And as you can see, it's definitely. Uh, it was, at least at the moment, tilting Ume Rogan a bit, but he is right back in the saddle. Yep, gonna go for that. Not gonna cancel the super. Oh, That's yeah. fine, and it does work out because we get the punish counter throw. I feel like dude's kind of getting a little bit impatient. We'll come back to bite him. Choose the green dash in there. Nobody home. Joe's neutral been solid. I do, I do think Guile does kind of firmly sit in control in the neutral here, which is probably a little bit weird for Luke. Yeah, Luke's not used to being on the back end, right? Mm -hmm. Yep, having to take these risks by jumping in. I can't believe he goes in for a third jump. But dude didn't check it. And now he's cornered. Beats out the perfect parry with a throw attempt. Gets another one. Are we getting looped, sir? What's happening? No, we're not. We are getting countered by our drive impact instead. Go ahead and spin on it. I like this. Critical situation from Joe. We do have critical art on deck. So if we can find a touch, it'll be a big one. We go for the raw critical art through the Sonic Boom. That is so tough to do. But it lands. It's going to be massive damage coming in. So close. Any poke at this point could do it. Anything from both. Mm. Nice. There it is. EX Sandblast bursting through Gal Sonic Boom. Definitely one of the few characters that has that option to just blow up his uh, EX booms. Mm -hmm. Facts. That is what that move was designed for. Sandblast, especially OD Sandblast, just cuts through anything at that clutch moment. If you need something fast, get the job done. One hit. That's the go-to move. 
Well done from Joe, tying things up. Much needed comeback there. Knuckle Dude playing solid though. Doesn't look shaken here in game three. Nice check into the confirm as well. Oof. Some big damage coming in on here. Mm. Pushing him back. Nice and the flash kick bait. We're gonna take those. Knuckle Dude with a perfect right there. What an answer. Okay. Look at this. We're just content. We're just going to hold this. That's a problem, though. Eventually, you have to go forward. If you allow the Guile player to get comfortable, to get settled, they are going to be able to piece you apart. Yeah, that's what they do. They do find an opening, though. Crouch medium kick. Immediate drive rush confirmed. Oh, meaty crouch and medium punch. Double fist in right there with the DP as well. We're getting a lot of damage, but Knuckle Dude does escape the corner. One of the most adaptable level ones in the game. Easily one of the best, right? It's just mm -hmm. so good. Oh, get really? shimmy, baby. Joe ties it up again. Tit for tat, these guys, man. You can tell Joe wants this, man. He's, he's playing for it. We need to get to that grand finals. We're in the top three, so that means we're in the money. But remember, there is a stark difference between second place and third place. So you always want to be higher up there. Weird oh. trade. Do we didn't think trade. that, uh, yeah, maybe he wasn't charging ready, you know, for flash kick. And he probably wasn't ready for, he didn't think crouch and heavy punch would win. So he met him in the air. That was a great bait from Knuckle Dew there, though. He went for the fake Sonic Boom, whipped the stand medium punch, made Joe think that he was going to commit. Got the jump in combo for the punch. Now a 2 1 lead and a big combo ripping off the first round of game four here in Loser's Final. Is Knuckle Dew going to be able to stretch this out into a round lead? Potentially set point situation. It's looking pretty good so far. And it's big potential for it. Nice. And Knuckle Dew set point right now, just that fast. It's all it takes. Mm -hmm. You know Joe wants this, man. He has been playing hard. This is a tough matchup. A lot on the line for him, but the window is closing. Nice side Ooh. switch. I don't even think he thought that was going to happen. Oh, for sure he didn't. That, that crouch and light punch would have definitely linked it to crouch and heavy if he was ready off the counter hit. Uh, cross medium, excuse me. Oh, brother. But, um... Ooh, oh, nice. brother. Well, we OD uppercut. We get out, but that was the last gash. That's all we had left. Knuckle Dew seals the deal. A 3-1 win over Joe Ume Rogan. That's getting to work together. Mm -hmm. It has been such a treat. Chat, we are moving into the grand final section of the tournament. It's going to be Knuckle Dew's Guile versus 801 Strider Marisa. Yep, two gladiators into the Coliseum. Only one can remain the champion. Let's get it going. Right, last week's Ooh. champ. Oh, the armor busted up early. That's convenient. Look at them. Booms. Booms, baby. Booms. Throw them out there. Yeah, Break, booms. Breaking the sound waves. Yep, sonic booms for days. Ooh. Catching the legs with the drive. Rush, crouch, medium kick. And a throw with the punish counter. Knuckles is starting off hot. Yeah, barely any life left. One jump. That would do it. Well done from Knuckle Dew. Early round lead, and you want to get out ahead as quickly as possible. You do not want to have to play back-to-back -back five game situations against Marisa. If you could avoid it, we want to sprint here. We do not want a marathon. That will become exhausting mm -hmm. to try to overcome. Yeah. Yeah, you definitely got to take your time in the set, right? The set can go to distance, whether it's a bracket reset or not. And you can't overexalt too early uh, to explode and uh, just kind of, like you said, tire yourself out. So, Marisa getting beat up right now, though. This is great. <laughs> great for Knuckle Dew stamina. Beat this gal up. Get her out of here. Pack it up quick. Mm -hmm. Anyone Strider is going to have to dig deep to find some outrageous for clutch. Yeah, mm. ain't coming this game. Maybe game two, we'll see the adjustment. Yeah, and that was like a low effort beating too, right? Like he, yeah. dude, didn't, dude didn't really do anything crazy. It was more so like Strider just running into his buttons. You're right. Booms. A little bit impatient, I think. Yep. Kind of the nature of the matchup too. Ooh, the forward For sure. heavy kick confirming. Nicely done. 
Oh, nice punish counter confirmed. Dude being ready for those is sick stuff, man. I like it. Yeah, the spacings he's playing at are really calculated right now. I'm very impressed. 81 Strider in a dangerous situation with their drive stocks. The Sonic Booms are going to be coming in fast. You gotta be ready for them. Uh, Yo, I love it every time the drive rush in to get that proper spacing for the anti-air. Knuckles is showing his prowess, mm. showing his knowledge, and just how much he knows how to use these system mechanics. Okay, speed run so far for the first few rounds. Knuckle Dude looking mm. sharp. Are we gonna be able to clutch this out, turn it into a 2-0 lead full blown? They want to try to be able to slow this down. Fight this man out. Definitely gonna need to steal back some of this momentum from Dude. Mm -hmm. Dude's just been on it. This is the kind of round you definitely want to have. Superman punch getting involved. But Dude is playing solid and he turns it back around now in a life lead. Try to steal his turn back. Perfect parry right through the string. Yes, sir. We're gonna go right into level three. Even with the perfect parry scaling, this will definitely be enough for Nakulu. As he quickly takes two games, KP, putting 801 Strider on a, a potential bracket reset. Okay. Now this is dangerous territory. We have immediately crossed into dangerous territory for 801 Strider. You have three games to give. Don't get me wrong. They are your advantage for being here at this stage of the dance. But you don't want to just give them up like that, right? I mean, jeez. Not at all. What's the What's adjustment it? that needs to be made? I mean, God. Knuckle Dude's just playing so comfortably. How do we make this guy uncomfortable? We need to get a few big hits in like this. <laughs> need to rough him up a little bit, right? That's right. Get him out of here. And there goes Tong. Big Tong. Shout outs to him with the direct $25 contribution. Oh, for Added real? More players. Added more money. Throwing it into the player's pit to show them what they're fighting for. Right now, 801 Strider fighting his way out with the Gladius right there. Good stuff. That's the boy, Papa T. Putting putting the uh, the cherry on top is $125 in the match arena tonight ladies and gentlemen thank you for supporting our players as always back into the yeah. neutral knuckle do going for more of the same and 801 strider lets it rip nobody home room Sir, things looking it. bad ate it man he put the fish hook out there the minister is like hmm got caught nice perfect parry again just right. when i thought she might have been able to blow up that button not enough yet Oh, anyone striking a little antsy. Knuckle Dude getting antsier though. Goes for the the reversal just a little bit too soon. Superman punch stacking in all that drive pressure. Uh, Barnard is set in for Knuckle Dude here, but still, he don't want to try to drop a health. Not close to the corner to even try to fathom a DI. And Knuckle Dude is on a reset point right here, folks. Mm. Nice, gets the tech on the throw. Much needed here. Definitely want to create some space. If you're Guile, nice whip punish on the Superman punch. Taking it all the way to the corner here, into the level three. And KP, this is going to hurt. Yeah, to say the least, my friend. The Sonic Stepper's coming in hot. 801 Strider back against the wall. We are facing a reset, ladies and gentlemen. Just a couple more button presses away from Knuckle Dude. Securing that reset, and there it is with the flash kick. Quickness, 3-0 reset. Not at all what that winner's final set looked like. Yo, the winner's final set was the complete opposite. Yes. It was Strider 3-1 three, three Knuckle Dude, I believe, but the 3-1 was like very emphatic, right? So but here we go, folks, fresh set. Two big L's by both their names. Only one can walk out the victor. Knuckle Dude is looking so comfortable right now. The confidence is high, and that is going to be key to, to, to take this whole set away. Very well said, my friend. And this is not going well to start things off. It's the first game of the second set, and Strider is getting beat up again. Mm -hmm. Knuckle Dude disrespecting completely, just ripping, ripping the flash kick in the string there on 801 Strider. Yeah, he's, uh, yeah, he's, he's in your head, man. How'd that 50 Cent song go? I'm in your head, boy. That's what's going on right now. Knuckle Dude, rent free, got the couch pulled up, legs up, opening the fridge, drinking the orange juice. He is making himself comfortable in it on his head. 
Perfect pairing, trying to advance, trying to mitigate that that crucial drive damage. It just doesn't seem like it matters, man. As much as Strider is trying to grind this, as much as he's trying to be patient and do things what you would say the right way, Knuckle Dude simply does not care and is putting on a clone. <laughs> Dude's like, do I look like I care? Nah. <laughs> Crazy. This is, this is looking like a download, bro. It might be. I'm hesitant I mean, to the... ever say that, but... Man, you never want to count out a, a you know a player of the caliber of Edo and Strider, right? We've seen him make crazy comebacks throughout the years in multiple Street Fighter games. So it's not out of character for him to, to try to make that. But also, it is in character for Knuckle Dude to just completely swarm his enemies. And just take them down. Hard combo hits. 801 Strider getting some opportunities, but still at a life deficit. And the punish counter throw on the attempted parry again. Oh, the shimmy situation. Mm -hmm. Knuckle Dude is tearing him apart. We were talking about the potential for a back to back Marisa TNS win. You know, the first time we would have seen someone accomplishing a feat like that. Mm -hmm. He's starting to look deep, like very, very distant at this point. Yeah, Knuckle Dude is just playing on one right now, man. Definitely got the confidence, got the download, if you will. Figured out what he needed to do, all right? He suffered that really bad loss in Winners Finals, and uh, as you can see, definitely took some time to think about it and figure out exactly what to do. And that's the makings of a champion. That's what top players do. They True. find these adaptations, they make them, and they come on on top. That's why I think this pressure that Knuckle Dude is applying to 801 Strider might form a diamond in 801 Strider. He's got one more chance to do it, folks. It's 2-1, Knuckle 2-0, excuse me. Knuckle Dude is on one more match to win this entire tournament. Well, I mean, I mentioned earlier about there are terrible feelings in Street Fighter VI, and being down games against Guile is 100% one of them. This is gonna be a massive Herculean effort from A to one Strider to get back and win this tournament. It is possible. We start things off by getting Guile jailed into the corner, stacking up some of that pressure situation. Dude just handles it perfectly. Look at this. And he drops $75 from death. 11 drops in at the Yeesh. finish line. That's two hundred for the night, my friend. Coming in clutch. Thank you so much. I think these, these uh, top contenders well deserve the money. As you can see, that flash kick was well deserved. And he got yeah. the pickup from the fireball into the drive rush. Knuckle Dude poised to take this entire tournament. Will he dethrone the current champion? Or will 801 Strider find it in him to make this comeback? Brutalizing. Absolutely brutalizing effort from Knuckle Dude so far in this grand finals. Strider down bad too, already 60% life gone. Our stocks are punished. We are looking dry. Shout out to my boy Jigga Quake coming in with the subby. We appreciate you, my friend. We love all of our primers. This might be our last one of the night. Strider is getting pummeled, my friend. Ooh, Marissa looking a little malnourished, man. A little burnt out, but we get the full hit on the Gladius. CA is locked and loaded. Perfect parry. Bruh. Yo, KP handle this, brother. It's over. He packs it up. Knuckle Dew with the clean 3-0 in the Grand Finals reset. And in the original Grand Finals set, that is 6-2-0.